Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests today, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarter and semi-finals. Next on court is the girls under 11 match between Alia Krahib in the blue shirt uh, from Yorks and second seed Freya Hennings in the black shirt from Surrey. And with me to guide me through the action is Vicky Crow, Squash England's one and only competition manager. <laughs> Good morning, Vicky. How are you? Yes, very well, thank you. And how have you uh, been uh, living this tournament till it's, now? Well, it's been quite busy for me. I mean, there's been a lot of preparation in advance of the uh, event, and uh, it's just so good to see um, everyone playing and, and having a good time. And I saw that the tournament was divided over more than one centre. Yes, we've got three centres, obviously here at Abbeydale, um, Hampshire, and uh, full, Forward. And how many courts is that in total? Oh, gosh, now you've got me. Um, <laughs> there's about 17 courts in total that we use, yes. 70 courts, so that must mean that there's a lot of kids competing? Well, yes, we had a record entry this year. It was over 400 entrants, so, um, yes. We 400? 400, And that's yes. a record of last 10 years, or...? Well, it seems to be. It's, 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 it's probably as big as I've known it. I've been taking, well, Time. taking my children to take part in it for the last 10 years or so, and I don't recall it ever being so big. And uh, yes, at least the last 10 years. Oh, that no, that sounds very cool. Um, can you tell me anything about the two girls currently on court? Um, well, Evie, I know she's from Surrey, um, and uh, she's been playing at Surbiton for a while. And um, you mean Freya? Sorry, beg your pardon. Why did I say Evie? Because <laughs> that's her sister. <laughs> um, Freya. And then uh, Alia is, is, I think she's from Yorkshire? I thought she was from uh, Yorks. York, Yorkshire, yes, Yorkshire. Is that the same? York? Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm from Holland. I'm a little bit, I do not understand the, the system here it's in England. It's abbreviated there for you, so yeah, it's Yorkshire, yes. Okay, and what can you tell me about these clubs? Are, they, are these big... Uh, well, I know Surbiton uh, is a very large club there. They've got a lot of players, and they do host quite a lot of tournaments. Actually, recently they hosted a bronze tournament. I think it had over um, 50 players, uh, which was quite successful. So, it's, you know, it's good that our clubs are hosting more local bronze copper tournaments to get our children yeah. in uh, playing seconds. in advance of taking part of these big events. Okay, well, thank you very much for the intro. Um, girls are ready to start. The match is led, by the way, by... Joe Witherspoon. This is the Pro Air British Junior Championships 2023. This is the round two girls under 11 match. Freya Hennings to serve, Ali Garib to receive. Best of five games, love all. And we're off. And out, nice. one love. Quick kill point <laughs> by Garheep. Mm. Probably a little bit unsettling for both these One kids all. playing yes, on this uh, full glass court. Yeah, they don't get a lot of experience playing on the full glass courts, so, so it's probably a little bit nervy. Oh, nice deep shot there. 2 1. Nice high serve yeah, there. Good serves there. Are nice. Three um, one. You know, at this age, it's really important to have quite a, a nice high serve, so you can often win good points from that. Ooh. Just missed Four it. One. Yeah. Yes, there's some, some great depth there. Very good serve again. 6 1. And it's rather tough. I don't know how these lights are, how bright they are when you have to pick a, a lob serve from the air. Yeah, and you're looking at a white ball as well. 7 1. <laughs> exactly. You <could> disappear. <laughs> Oh, 
Out. Ooh, just Six. clipped it in there. Hand out, 2-7. Quite a good lead for Hennings at the beginning of this first game. Mm. A smart serve through the center. 3-7. Shot. Yeah, there's some trouble in the back there for Rahit with her that defensive boasting. Nine three. Good drop shot there. Make great use of the, the space there. Yeah. Oh, that was a little bit of an. Aggressive nick attempt. <laughs> Great length there. Ooh. Ooh. Missed attempt of a reverse game angle Hennings. post there. And Hennings leads. Hennings one is game taking to love. the first game. One glove. Yeah, I think the, the first game was a little bit one sided until now. I think. Yeah, Rahid maybe. needs a little bit of settling in. Yeah, she needs to find her stride. And like I said, it can be quite nervy if you've not played on a, a court like this before. And of course, the uh, the burden of playing the number two seat is also. Uh, of course, yes, of course. Um, but she you knows she shouldn't, shouldn't worry about that too much. She should just play a game. Don't worry about too much of where they're seated or or just, just do their best. Yeah, no, and, and enjoy. But absolutely, it's all about. Particularly at this age, it's really important to enjoy it and uh, not to feel too much pressure. You know, we want we want girls to come and have a good time. It's quite a it's very important for girls to play sport to have fun and make friends. You know. Yeah, no, that that's very important. I think that's uh, team building starts and when they're game to love they're at these ages. Absolutely. But there's even a younger category, isn't there? Yes, the, the under nine mix. Yeah, I think our youngest comp competitor is about six. Six. <laughs> One love. Oh wow. Get them early. <laughs> nice deep serve nice again. again yes. Directly. Two love. Troubling Grahib from the start of the the rally already. Ooh, oh, very clever bows there. Mm. And out, one three. Hope that gives her a little confidence boost. Yes, yeah, she sure it will. Two, three. Too bad there. I can see it already has. She's got a little bit more spring in her step. Just do. That's a good return. Oh, beautiful lob. Mm -hmm. And out, four, two. Two. On the earlier there to to get out on the backhand. Not that surprising at this Fault. little age. Yes. And out. It is three five. Something you need to work on and develop over the years. It's not something that comes naturally on the backhand. No. Listen to your coach. Is there. Three. She's running all over the court. Quite fast also. Yes. Seven three. And again firing away 
at the back end of Graham. Yeah, I think Hennings has spotted the, uh, the best place to put the shot. Out. 8 3. Great drive there. Nine Motor three. power. Gap has opened up again now. Oh, shot. That was an absolute Ten beauty three. of a drop Game shot. Ball. Just, yeah, I, I, I think an inch is too big, but it was <laughs> there was very little space between that ball <laughs> and the tin. We'll give it two inches. Well but here returning to favor. Four <laughs> ten, game ball. Four ten, yeah. It's it's a it's going to be a hard battle to get back from that yeah, one. Yeah, some good serves to get back from that one. Ooh, oh, got a little bit too surprised there. Eleven four, game to Hennings. So Hennings also quite comf comfortably taking the second game. Yeah, we can only hope as a. Uh, as a spectator, that where he just Sorry? takes a small lead in the beginning of the yeah, third. Uh... Nothing's impossible, you know. Hope she gets some uh, some of that confidence. Yes. Because she hits the ball very well, but she's a little bit troubled on the backhand side. Yes, I think uh, Helen's has spotted that and uh, might continue to. If the coach is probably advising her to keep that ball in that position and over in the far backhand corner yeah but I must say that Hennings also showed that she has uh, some killer drop shots in her in her yes. weapon arsenal <laughs> so she strikes me as a little bit of an all-rounder so it's going to be tough to get back from but um, nothing is impossible indeed hey and one question to you again Vicky um, you are a competition manager in England, but what's your exact role at the tournament? To make sure everything goes as smoothly as possible. <laughs> um, yes, to you know, just to support everyone that needs here. We've got a fantastic team of people that are sort of two the games to love. Love all. Venue. So I have a lot of, you know, they've done some really good work. Ooh, just uh, missed that volley there. One love. I think that, that that's the answer to to all the, the, the depth that uh, Hennings is uh, producing, it's just to volley it. Keep it high. Yeah. To love. Ooh. Ooh, that was a very unfortunate and miss there. Small miscalculation by Hennings. Down the middle there. To all. Changing the tactic. Yeah, that's smart. I think it's smart to, to never have your serve, this, never serve the same way. Some through the middle, yeah, some high, some hard. Oh, she wasn't quite ready. I don't blame her. She made two, two points, so now get on with it. <laughs> Keep the pace on. Double bounce. A little, a little lucky miss there. That's a very good sound. Four two. Five two. Is the gap opening up again? Yeah, she's done quite well. She's quite undisturbed. Six two. Ooh, that was a very nice. And out three six. Three six. 
She manages to stay close now a little bit. Good things can happen for her. Oh. And out, 7 3. Three. Yeah, Nine the shirts are killing for Grahip. Ten three, and we have seven match balls in our hands. Three, match ball. Freya Hennings. Oh, Ooh, one, one averted. And now four ten, match ball. Four ten, long Take way that. to go. But still in it to win it. Never say never. Eleven oh. four. And eleven four. Three games to low. Freya Hennings wins in three, 11, beating three, 11, four, Alia 11, four. Gray. But I think it was a. Uh, she played very well. Yes. She was just uh, a little bit better. Um, but I hope both girls enjoyed themselves. That's right. It's an important thing. For now, um, Vicky, thank you for uh, for helping me through the game. Oh, helping me, guiding me through because I don't know the players, of course. Um, we and do the next one together. I th yeah, I think so too, but we will uh, take a short break to have a zip of water because my voice needs to warm up a little bit as well, <laughs> as everybody at home can probably hear. Next on court is the girls' under-11 match between Phoebe Griffiths, and um, I think she's the number one seed, and Madalena Sidoli, who is the number three, four seed. Yeah, so everybody at home, stay tuned, and we will be uh, right back.
Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Parks Course and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guest, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarter and semi-finals. And next on court is the girls' under-11 match between Madalena Sidoli from South Wales and top seed Phoebe Griffiths from Hampshire. And with me to guide me through the action again is Vicky Prow, still competition manager in England. <laughs> Glad you stayed here. Yes, I'm, I'm, I love watching the girls. It, it's uh, being a parent of a, of a girl player as well has gone through the system, and especially at this age, it, it's, it's great to watch. And how's the, the boys to girl ratio in these uh, tournaments? Um, it's about split, about uh, 35% girls. Um, we've seen quite an increase in players this year, we've, um, which is nice to see. You know. Yeah, I think so too. It's, uh, it, it's, it's harder for girls somehow. It's always the smaller percentage, but it's, it's, it's great to see grow. And I hope the Olympics also... Uh, uh, will give a little boost. Indeed, yeah, I hope so too. And of course you have some, some heroes in England, mm -hmm. some female players like Gina Kennedy. Yes, of course. Yes, Battling to be number one, world number one at one so, stage in their careers. Oh, she's got a good, a good chance as everyone else. So yeah, she's yeah, good. Yeah, she's a good player. And, uh, it, it, you know, again, I, I've been on this circuit for a while and I remember seeing her play as a junior, so um, she's always been a, a fantastic player. Like um, a junior, junior from the girls under 13s? Um, yeah, about 13s, 14s. I remember her playing. Um, she, in fact, she used to go to a number of competitions with my daughter. Um, okay. So, yeah, so they, they know each other well and they've both been at, you know, at various different camps with each other at some point. Yeah. Yeah, oh, very cool. And I heard your daughter was competing for Barbados? <laughs> yes, she, she has competed in Barbados. A long story, but. Um, Yes. Uh, she's but playing international? Playing internationally, yeah. For, That's quite cool. Yeah, this is the Pro Air cool. British yeah, Championship, cool. British Junior now Championship she, uh, 2023. Is she going to be in the Olympics? The girls going to train for that? semi-final. Who knows? Who knows? There's, there's, there's a, of England only to a few serve. spots. Madalena Sidoli of Wales to receive. Best of five games. Love all. And the referee of this match, again, is Joe Witherspoon. And we're off again. And out. Quite a one love. From the previous one, quite fast, fast pace, I think. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, but that's also good for the for the younger girls to see. And that, out. Like the improvement in such a short time can be so. Oh yes, massive. So good, so massive. One. Stroke to Griffiths. Clear the ball, please. Three one. It's also good to see that the refs are strict at this uh, these young ages already. I think it's important to me, yeah. Very nice goes there. And out, away from the two, player. three. Power. Yes. Fantastic rally. No less. Winning shot. That's actually quite good. Yeah. A lot of power, and yeah. I saw some and out. Well, it's quite strategic uh, stuff. Yeah, at this age, it's. Rallies tend to be a lot more shorter, a lot shorter, so it's good to see that they're able to keep the rally going and playing. And 
out 3-4. Already uh, seems to be a very close match. Indeed, it's close. Steps there by Griffiths. They're both quite athletic players. And now too. five three. Well, there were actually uh, three previous encounters between these two girls, uh -huh. and uh, Griffiths won them all three love. So that's like uh, six three. It can be mentally pretty tough if you play an opponent like that. Indeed, yes. I'm sure that uh, Sidali will want to get a game or two from her at least. Seven three. Yeah, I think if you if you always lose three love to someone and you win a game one time, that it, it could really boost your confidence. Yes, it's certainly. Something that makes you feel that well, at least I'm improving, you know, and this is my work that I'm putting into it. So. Out. That was close. Eight three. So it was close, but now there's a pretty comfortable lead for Griffith. So Dolly doesn't seem to. Be Worried about that yet? Still playing hard. Griffiths is getting everything back. Ooh. Oh! That was good. That was good. I saw it good as well. Yeah, that was good. Nine three, right side. And that's why you should always try. I saw it good. That's great scratching shape there. Bear with me a second. Just stop. Sorry, I'm just working in technology. And out, 4-8. Those balls can and out, seem to go four. in slow motion when you're, when you're <laughs> chasing in them. The back. Yes. <laughs> Great depth again there by Griffiths. 10 4 game ball. Griffiths taking the Griffiths. first game, 11-4. Two games to love. So, Vicky, what do you what do you think of this game? I'm quite surprised there's as big a gap as there was between the, the, the points. I would have, yeah, I was surprised to see that. You know, they're both really strong players and strong hitters. But obviously, uh, Griffiths has got the edge there and plays the ball really well, especially at the back here. And yeah, true. And I think, to, 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 my, uh, to how I see it, Griffiths is a little bit more aggressive and more fast on the ball, constantly. Oh, yes. She's very athletic. Sidoli seems to be waiting out a little bit more. And that gives Griffiths kind of an edge. Both players being coached. I see uh, Griffiths is coached by... Uh, your colleague, Tim Vale. Yes, Tim. He, 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 he does everything, eh? <laughs> Tournament director. Indeed. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. He's, if he's not doing a competition, he's coaching. If he's not coaching, he's, 
He's uh, stringing rackets. Uh, yeah, he doesn't. Score. I know, there, there was this one tournament I remember. It, I think it was the in, in the Corona time, the British Junior Open. Mm. Uh-huh. So it was a little less uh, kids go, running around, but he did the tournament uh, direction, uh, did the refing, did the coaching, did commentary with me, but he also played a game with me. I'm not surprised, honestly. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. <laughs> so, second game starting. Griffiths on her way to the service box. Love all. Good. One love. He's almost there. And out, one all. And out, still two nerves, one. maybe. I see Griffith is really Three, aiming one. her serve. Yes, yeah, she's looking good. very well where she wants the ball to be. Some, uh, well, often the serve is not. Oh, she got it. Oh, unfortunate. Stroke to Griffiths, four one. The serve is something that should be practiced more, I think, at this young age. I don't think enough time is, is focused on the serve sometimes. No, I think you're right. It's, uh, it can be a great weapon, sure. Oh. Especially when you learn to aim with the <laughs> Good volley. Six one. Ah, uh, that's very and good. Two six. She totally doing something back. And out, 7-2. Not sure what happened there. No, I think it was a, a frame ball. Oh, OK. <laughs> nice serve and volley right there. 2 Now Phoebe sure knows what she's doing. Two, right side. I'll just stay there. Oh, okay. What? Ten, two, game ball. And out, three, ten. Game ball. Cheeky idea there. <laughs> but it just didn't work out. Oh, great reception there. 11 3 for Griffiths. Phoebe Griffiths, Griffiths taking the second two game games to love. love. Yeah, this, this game showed a little bit of a bigger difference between both girls, I think. Indeed, yeah. With I think. Um, more power in their shots. Yeah, and I also think that Griffiths actually showed some stuff she didn't show us in the first game, like uh, the, the, the good drop shots. Probably got a little bit more confidence after yeah. winning that first game. That's right, you need a bit of confidence, a little bit of cushioning before you... They were sharp also. It's yes. Like... Yeah, she's a very talented young lady. But I'm still, I, I think Sedoli has what it takes to at least take a game today. Yeah. I think she should, yeah. Why not? Yes. Give us some confidence. Stage 
Olympics, two games to love. Love all. That was a very good serve. And out, return to love. And out, one all. Powerful rally there. Oh, and in the net too. Two one. And a roller. <laughs> Yeah, that's, one. A, that's a very good weapon there. That lob serve to the backhand side. Right in the blind spot. Exactly. <laughs> I think it, at these ages it is one of the tough, toughest places on court. Yes. Unless uh, kids are left. Lefties. One right side, oh, Very great kill good. shot there. Six one. Out to six. Yeah, but still a little far behind in this third game. Needs a bit of luck here. Yeah, if she makes like two points in a row now. Give her the confidence. Mm. And out but seven two. Man, is all over it. She's really not giving Sedoli an inch. Great job shoot again. Nine two. Is it good? out. No? Oh, okay. Stop. I saw that down. Was it okay? Was the, ball, the ball was up. Sorry. The ball was good. Um, glad it wasn't just me. <laughs> Ten, three. No, it's nice so good as well. It was just... Oh. oh well played. And out. Four, ten. Match ball. Four, ten. Six match balls for Griffiths. Sure need to... Hat out of the bag before she can pull back, I think. Oh, oh, oh. she missed the volley. And Phoebe Griffiths beats Madeleine Sidoli in three, three being uh, the first finalist of the day. Very good, this was the first semi final, so uh, oh. Griffiths is the first finalist of the, of the tournament. Very nice. Um, okay, well, next 
on court will be the match between uh, Thomas Myers against Oscar Brown, who will be playing the boys under 13 semi final. Uh, Vicky, you will stay with me for one more match. One more match, I think. yes. Um, uh, but we're going to have a, a quick coffee now that's possible. Everybody at home, stay tuned. We will be right back. And yeah, for now, uh, congratulations to Phoebe Griffiths.
Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarters and semifinals. Next on court is the boys under 13 match between Oscar Brown from Leicestershire and top seed Thomas Meyer from Edinburgh, Scotland. And with me again to guide me through the action is Vicky Prow, competition manager, manager of England Squash. Uh, welcome back, Vicky. Thank you, Dan. Uh, boys under 13, first boys semi-final today. Yes, it'd be quite exciting. We've got Thomas, I think he's our one seed in the tournament, and, and Oscar. And Oscar's, I think, recently aged up to the uh, under 13s. So yeah, his first year in this event. Yeah, exciting. I saw him play the, the finals against his, uh, his twin brother, I think, last year. Oh, <laughs> I'm not surprised there. Yes, they are. Very competitive, I imagine, amongst themselves. And um, what I can tell you about these players is that there's no head-to-head -head between them, mm. so they don't have any history, but that might be because of all the age gaps. Um, can you tell me anything more about them? Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure about these players. Um, I know that Thomas has been playing a lot more on the uh, European circuit. Um, so probably has a lot more experience uh, playing uh, other players than Oscar. Oscar probably tends to play a lot more English players, but it'll be interesting to see how we uh, how we react to playing this match. Now he is top seed. That's of course also a burden he has to bury. Yeah, it can be tough. It can be tough. A lot of expectation, I imagine probably puts it on himself more than his coach would. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I don't want to brag, but I was once at the British Junior Open doing also the commentary for uh, England Schools. And then in the final match, I was helped by um, Mohamed El Shabani. British Junior Championship 2023. So that's, uh, it was quite cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boys in the third <laughs> he, he explained four. a little bit about the... Oscar um, Brown the of England whole, uh, to serve. Thomas Myers of Scotland to receive. Burden, yeah, the, 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 and that expectation. The, five games. Yeah. the expectation that comes with it. And... Um, Lavoie. So just for everybody viewing at home, it's not easy to be uh, the number one seed of the tournament. It's actually harder than easier maybe. Ooh. And out. One love. Fault. Just out. And out. One all. Two, one. Oscar's already fist pump there. Oh. And out. And again, the fist pump. Two all. <laughs> oh, that was great sharp thinking. Three, there. two. Sharp thinking, yes. Eventually, squash is all about problem solving and how... And out. How yes. calm Three, you stay four. while solving them. And uh, he did just that. It's all about angles sometimes. And out. Four, three. Oh, oh great shot. touch there. Yeah. Good to see they've got a nice out, lot of supporters for with them. All. Groups down the front there. Yeah, it's still early also, so I reckon the and low people are still five, on their way four. here.
No let. Ooh, that was harsh. Wrong line. And out. Five all. Five all. First game. Pretty close already. It's time. Yeah, and I think that um, Six, Oscar was five. the, the five-eight seed. Yes. So we already progressed one round further than expected. But now he's also really testing the number one seed. <laughs> and out. Six all. Talented young boy. Seven, six. Oh, a little lucky Nick shot there. And out. Seven, <coughs> all. A little bit too Eight, fast of an attack. seven. There are no easy points at this level. No, there's not. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a terrific shot. Terrific shot. And out. Wish I could Eight do all. one of those. Ten eight, game ball. So two game balls for Thomas Myers. We're setting the wrong way. And he takes eleven it. eight, it game to Myers. There. Myers leads. But yeah. I must One say, game I'm quite amazed about the um, technical ability already of these uh, young kids. I know. It, I always, I'm always amazed by it. But you know, they obviously love what they do. You can see that they really enjoy it, which is really, really important. Um, and we've got to make sure that these kids have the opportunity to play as much as they can. You know, yeah. just have that free time to play on court. Our clubs have got to give the court time to these kids. You know, and uh, let them just play. You know, quite often they learn a lot of things um, just playing amongst their peers during the day. Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know how it is in England, but in Holland we always have like uh, the peak hours from 5 to 10 in the evening that's full. Then, yes. they, then it's adult time. They can play, but like during the day there's in, enough time for, for all these kids to just yeah, I think there's take courts and uh, fool around a bit. Yeah, I think there's a lot of clubs that have got a lot of spare court space that they you know should open up a lot more to our, to our junior players. Um, I know that they... Generally, courts are in demand between, like you say, five and nine o'clock. Yeah. But um, you know, Play, there are still a lot of court seconds. spaces out there that we should uh, just open up to the, the young ones to play. I mean, when my my kids were playing, you know, after we played ourselves, if there was a free court, they would hop on. Yeah. Same. Just want to hop on and just hit the ball, and you know, it didn't matter who they were playing with. And it was just you know, whether they were doing three quarter court or something else. 15 seconds. Yeah. You, know, you can learn such a lot from them just doing that. And never forget, even if you don't make it to the world top, you can still end up as a competition manager or a squash commenter for... Yeah, you know, I've got, I've got, I've got two kids, but, you know, we've, they both took a different path. They both play squash. Myers leads. But my son, One he's game just love. happy to play at a club love level. And he enjoys it. Yeah. yeah. It's also a very healthy sport. Oh, yeah. It's like exciting at all levels. It's very good. One love. Already started on. Not up. Ooh, cheeky yeah. little bows there. I Two think he's, love. He's going to play to get an earlier lead this time. Little wait before he hit that. Three love. Okay. Um, 
for a little dive there. <laughs> they bounce at this age. <laughs> for love. Quite different if I was down there. <laughs> Very tight. Yeah. And out. One, four. Down. So two, four. Oscar Brown. Two, four. Seems to be right back in it, score wise. Score wise. I was uh, doing. Commentary one time and with uh, Nick Matthew, uh -huh. five no, two top player from England, of course. And he explained a little bit the psychology of the the two point difference in score. Yes. How, how important it was for him to always be at least two ahead or not uh, more than two Three, behind. Five. Yeah, because it can disappear so quickly. Actually, Nick's going to be doing some commentary for us tomorrow during the final. So very nice. And that's always and nice out. to see. You see a lot Six, of those three. ex pros active at these tournaments as coaches and just walking about. And I think that's what the nice thing about this sport is. A very, the clubs Seven, are very accessible. Three. You, know, yeah. they, you know, you often see them playing in clubs and, you know, they've been through it themselves. So they, you know, they know it's really important to connect with the players. And out. Four, seven. And out. It's a little eight, bit too hard four. with a little bounce from the wall. Eight four is quite comfortable. That's just too bad. Yeah, it's tough when you have to react court. quickly like yeah. that. Down. 10 4. A lot game of work for Oscar to, to try and claw anything back, I think, this game. Great oh, shot. beautiful finish 11, there. 11 4. Game to Myers. Myers taking Myers leads. Two games to love. second game very comfortably. And this is going to be a, a very big task for Oscar Brown to get back from, I think. Yes, I think he probably... Yeah, I think he's not sure what to do when he takes some time off. I think it's good if he could come off court and just reflect with one of his coaches or dad, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> uh, well, what, what I also think you see is that once the game progresses and like the the tension builds then now, now Thomas is uh, no I mean uh, Oscar Brown is a little bit playing more loose balls under the pressure and yes yeah and Thomas keeps it a little bit tighter and keeps a little bit better posture yeah body language I noticed Oscar was probably a bit disappointed at the last two points but should come back on confident it's, you know the first game was much closer and he has a chance as anyone else has. I don't know if I mentioned it, by the way, prior to the match, but the, this match is um, led by Peter Fielding. Referee Peter Fielding. Referee Peter Play will resume in 30 seconds. I rest you a lot, spend very long days here. They, 15 they seconds. Effort and work into, you know, work very grateful for them for what they do really they give up a lot of time they're not paid of course no so you know, we must acknowledge that you know no it's good and time I, there's quite a referee army so they all contr contribute they work, they work together very closely as a team that's for sure yeah. um, you know honestly we don't have enough refs I 
think um, one of our strategies for the next year will be to recruit more people to come involved. Yeah, well, maybe it's, it's, it's a good time to mention that, but uh, I know that in Holland we have the same problem. Like, there's no Myers but leads. The, the world Two sports officiating organ, they have like, all. made it easier for people to become a ref. Yes, yes, Out. I have. So, I would definitely go, if One you're listening, love. if you're interested in refing, go to the, to the website of the world squash officiating. Out. Dot com. Uh, and and then out. you can take the WSF one, all. zero, one, and two courses online. You can actually become a very, uh, very decent ref. Absolutely, and, and, and then connect with England squash um, because two, um, one. We'll, we've got a strong team. Um, you know, players, uh, referees sorry, like Andrea and Steve Eccles, who will, you know, are our assessors and mentors, and uh, you know, we'll continue work with you to, to bring up to the next level. So. Exactly. Not up. So, enough about the refs for now. Sorry, Let's, uh, focus yeah, on digress. The, no, that, it's good. <laughs> Sometimes the, ref, the refs need some attention because uh, I'm very happy with the work they do and uh, everybody watching should be as well. But this match is about these two little boys. Out. Uh, Thomas Myers applying Three, uh, two. pressure from the start of his game already. That's a good he seems shot to shot. be a little bit more stable from the team. Four, yes. two. Straight lines from the tee to the ball and forcing Oscar Brown to out run around him more or less. Five two. Six, two. Oscar needs to find trying calm, really. It's quite a challenge when you're in that position. Not up. Ooh. Seven, two. He was fast on his feet, though. He was. Thomas is making him have to be fast on his feet, really. Eight, two. Nine, two. Ten, two already. Yes. Ten, two. Much ball. Max to Myers, three yeah. games to love. Three that games to love. 11 eight. Thomas. 11 four. 11 so, uh, two. From here in the commentary booth, congratulations to Thomas for uh, reaching the final of the boys under 13 categories. Vicky, I would like to thank you very much for, uh, for joining me today. It's been great fun. It has been great fun and uh, very insightful. And I wish you a lot of uh, well, actually fun on the, the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Keeping everybody in place. Um, for you at home, next match will be the quarterfinals in the boys on the left between Thomas Earwicker and Logan Wilstrop. That sounds familiar name. Oh yes, a very familiar name. Uh, and we will be taking a small break until then. So stay tuned.
time. You serving? Oh, I'm in now. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Brit Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarters and semi-final matches. And next on court is the boys under 11 um, quarterfinal between Thomas Earwicker from Surrey and Logan Wilstrup from Yorkshire. Now I will be starting on my own because my partner in crime uh, Mark Tasker is Thomas not Erica. yet here but England we'll uh, wait for him. Logan Wilstrup of England and the match is led by again games. Peter Fielding. Love all. That was already great start Out. of the match, great drop shot. One club. Two club. And great Out. use of space there by Thomas Earwicker. Two. Forcing Logan Wilson out of the center of the court. Finishing it off with a drop shot and wow. Two all. That was a great drop shot as well. Cut up. And out. Three, two. Down. Five two already for Logan Wilstrup, who is expected to, to win this match since he is the number two seed. Well, Thomas Earwicker, who just missed that great reaction Six, volley two. drop shot, is the 5 8 seat. Yep. Double bounce. And out. 3 6. And joining me now, a little bit later, but that was because the match started a little bit early. Mark Tasker, welcome, Mark. Hello there. Thanks for having me. You are the uh, are you the manager here at Abbeydale Park Record Club? Not the manager, the head coach. The head coach. Head coach, yeah. And uh, are any of your kids playing here as well? Tournament? Uh, not here today. We had a few. A few that were going to enter that in the end couldn't enter. Um, I do have a boys under 13. Oh, <laughs> what was it? that, by the way? <laughs> yeah, we have um, one playing at forward, right uh, but none here today. So. Nine, okay, well, that's too bad, but on yep. the other hand, we still have some great squash here in your club. Yep, fantastic. Yeah, the junior side of things is growing as ever, which is... Fantastic. Yeah, I heard it was a record three. 400 uh, uh, registrations this tournament. Yep, yep. Yep, impressive. And it's, it's traditionally being held at your uh, at the Abbeydale Club, right? 11, three. Yeah, we've, we'll we've had the we'll BJC now for... This is the second year. 
Um, oh, <laughs> not, not too the, traditional. The, the British <laughs> Junior Open we've had, we had for many, many years. Um, I see that all the, 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 the pictures around the center court. Yeah, yeah, I mean. And, and I must say, you, you recognize all the Egyptians on those pictures. That's it. Have a look at those pictures and every single top player in the last 30 years. Yeah. There's, there's one I, I like that the best. That no, uh, there's two I like best, but one has Ali Farak as a probably 13 year old. Yeah, <laughs> and I like um, there's there's also one where uh, my club mate Omar Magid is in. Okay, which is quite funny because then I can send it to my club as well <laughs> <laughs> on the group WhatsApp. A bit younger than he looks now, maybe. But. Exactly. <laughs> Well, anyway, yeah, um, yeah you, you missed the first game for a bit, but um, second seed Logan Wilstrup uh, took it pretty um, convincingly. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks to be an impressive performance so far. Yeah, with the highlight, uh, that little pirouette and this uh, ball behind the back, of course. <laughs> Been watching some of his dad's trick shots on YouTube, probably. <laughs> Has he done the triple fake yet? <coughs> no, he hasn't. <laughs> Maybe he's saving that for the, uh, the the whammy for the for the later stage. <laughs> of the match. Well, I think you see everybody. Um, you you always see them like being a little bit safe in the first game, <coughs> testing yeah. out the court. Yeah, especially so. With this is the first time we've seen the younger ones on this court <coughs> so far in the tournament. And I suppose for a lot of these young ones, they've never played on a glass court before. So I think a big part of it is just now, settling into the court and getting used to the, yeah. the bounce. And the, it plays very differently, obviously. So. Now, one lap. And it seemed, uh, I, I, I think I saw yesterday, people thought it was a little slippery when, uh, when it gets sweaty, of course. I th yeah, it, it's, it's a common problem with glass, court, glass courts in general. Um, because the floor has to be stained a darker colour, the issue is that the staining actually sits on top of the wood and uh, then yeah. acts as a, a barrier for the, the sweat soaking into the wood. Um, so it, it, can't be, it can't be helped. Um, all you can do is make sure it's sanded frequently, <coughs> which has was sanded um, about 18 months ago. Um, so it's absolutely fine, and it tends to be the the tall, heavier under-19 boys that sweat a lot and land very heavily. Yeah. Um, so you know, for the younger age groups, it's uh, it's it's never a problem. Um, I must say this was a really interesting uh, story because I, I always wonder why they sweep the court so much at uh, like the PSA tour, the glass court. Yeah. And at my club's uh, Premier League. Yeah, only when the players dive or something. Yeah. Two, yep. one. But I, I'm, I'm glad we cleared it out. <laughs> it's something I've looked into a lot, and we've got a lot of advice on it. Um, and, you know, this, this floor is very well maintained. Um, it's just a c very common, common issue with glass courts all around the world. Um, yeah. I think some of the top, top courts... <coughs> um, that are used in the PSA are actually temporary floors, I believe. Uh, so they managed to get away with, um, get around the issue, but these floors don't last very long. So when it's a temporary court that you're moving around, I think yeah, it's okay, exactly. but yeah. when it's a court that's permanent, obviously we can't have a, a more temporary floor on here. So. Yeah. Well, enough about force for now. Yep. Let's uh, get back to the squash of these boys, because it's Actually, quite uh, thrilling. It is. Lovely, uh, lovely drop back. And now, three all. I've seen a little bit of Logan play. Um, he's entered a few of my local tournaments, um, some of the bronze events that we've had in the local area. Does he perform well? Winning yeah, he's been, it's been four, impressive. Uh, obviously, the lovely technique and <coughs> plays the game in a lovely way always looking to go short and attack Five, three. oh <laughs> that was a very very Six, cheeky uh, three. slice side slice
Seven, three. Yeah, a little Thomas Hirwerker has a little problem. His game is not going the way he likes it, I think. Yeah. Eight, three. We all know as adults how hard it can be uh, <laughs> dealing with uh, a bit under pressure. I certainly know that. <coughs> so. Ten, three. Yeah, well, that's uh, th one big important aspect of the, 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 the junior circuit as well. Learn yep. how to lose. Yep. Yep, I have it with some of my kids that I coach. Some, some deal much better. Oh. Deal with it much better than others, but it's just part of... Uh, Part of the learning the, the process, isn't it? The yeah, junior squash. Drop leads. Two games to love. Well, I think he's a little bit surprised about uh, everything that uh, young Logan Wilstrup is uh, putting onto him. Yeah, that's again with a, a glass court. It's, it's built to be uh, quite unforgiving, isn't it? So. It rewards very good shots, and the first good shot that's played early on normally, yeah, normally leads to controlling the rallies. So, uh... hey, and I'm a little bit amazed by the sign, but this was the the first glass ball, no glass back ball court in the world, right? That's right. Yeah, one of our um, members. Um, I don't know if I get this story correct. Uh, I hope you do. <laughs> I hope I do. I've been told it many times, but yeah, he, he owned a company that uh, they still make the glass uh, glass for the squash courts. So he, he came up with the idea of putting the, the glass back in. I don't know if you've seen any of the uh, old pictures of the court when it was a plastic court with a glass back yeah. and the, uh, the very high viewing area down the sides there. But... Not sure it'd pass health and safety these days, but it was quite a quite a famous court. A lot of stories uh, have been told about some historic matches on that court as well. Sometimes also these fully plastered courts, they have like these very small doors in the back. Yes. Maybe one meter high doors. Yeah. You have to crawl into it. <laughs> Would have been funny if they kept that in the glass back wall as well. <laughs> we'll stop leads. Two games to love. Okay, so love all. I think I had a chat with parents, see if you can uh, regroup. Yeah, and still, there's not really a shame in losing to the number two seed. No, One love. exactly. That's better. And I also think I've seen. Thomas Earwicker play in like last year but in a lower category so I think he's one category one up even. Okay. Fault. Just now unlucky. Please do not throw your racket on the court please. And out. Two, one. Uh, the way the Three, court plays one. it's quite quick off the front wall uh, but then dies quite a lot in the back yeah. so as you see the, that first good length especially at this age group that first good length into the back usually leads to either a winner or a winning opportunity oh nice and now yeah, couldn't control himself there Two. but he was there Three. <laughs> Very nice drops there. Yeah, I think oh. hopefully it gives him some confidence. Yeah, something to build on. And out, four, three. Oh, 
Nice fight there from Logan. And again. Soft hands already. Yeah. Five, three. Small lead again. Seven, three. Eight, yeah, and there's the desperation three. again. Yes, you can see, I'm sure, you've got to be careful making comparisons between Logan and his dad uh, and not putting too much pressure on him, but you can see little mannerisms yeah. um, that you can see that have come across from his, from his dad's technique. And that backhand drop. Yeah, I, I, I think he cannot sh show up at breakfast if he doesn't do his drop shot homework well. <laughs> yeah. I always use James Wilshop's uh, backhand drop as a <coughs> as a textbook and as a video to show the, the players that I'm Five, coaching. Nine. It's one of my favourite shots when he plays that. Yeah, there went there were a lot of hours spent on the drop shot by oh, his yeah. dad probably. Yeah. Yeah. And out. Ten five. <coughs> So we have five match balls on our hand for Logan Wilstrup. Out. And the ball's out, and he wins the match, progressing to the finals, no, to the semi-finals, which will be played later in the afternoon. So, uh, well, first of all, thanks, Mark. I think you will be joining us for one more match after this one. Yeah. And that will be the match in the girls under 11 category between Siona Mishra and Elise Griffiths from Wales. Uh, but now we will take a very little break to uh, have a sip of water. So everybody at home, stay tuned and we will be right back.
Phoenix. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarters and semi-finals. Next on court is the mixed under-9 quarter-final match between Henry Frost from Sussex and Gabriel Canestraci from Middlesex. And with me to guide me through today's action, or well, the next match, match's action, is Mark Tasker, head coach here at Abbeydale. Welcome back, Mark. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, you don't happen to know the two boys on court? No, I don't, I don't know much about these two um, at all, really. Um, and obviously, we've up to now, we've just had... Time. The uh, under 17s and under 19s based at Abbeydale, so it's the first time seeing these time. two. Just spin the racket. Can you uh, tell me who's serving? Gents. So exciting spinning the racket. <laughs> it's great watching them uh, play in three quarter court ten minutes ago, <laughs> charging around the court just before who's the serving, game. Please? He's serving, thank you. Uh, he's got HF on so his Henry Frost is uh, serving. Off, he is uh, the second seed of the tournament. And uh, Gabriel Canistracci is, I hope I pronounced it right, it's a difficult last name. Sounds Italian. <laughs> but he is uh, the 5'8 five, uh, five, seed. So uh, both boys uh, did exactly what they uh, were expected to do this tournament. I see that uh, Frost is being coached by a uh, head coach of the Malik team. Yep, they certainly look like they've got a lot of energy, these two. Pro Air British Junior Championships 2023 mixed under nine quarterfinal match. Henry Frost of England to serve, Gabriel Canestrachi of England to receive best of five games, love all. We're off. Hand out. Quick great serve return there by Kostrachi. These boys have, by the way, played once against each other Down. in the Southeast Aspire Junior close of 2023. Too low. And then uh, Kostrachi beats Henry Frost to love. Mm. Out. It's been a strong start from him. Three love. Serving very well, which at this age group is hugely important and even more so on this court for love yeah that can be pretty impressive as well to these youngsters of course the scores yeah hand out one four i always enjoy seeing uh, people's reactions especially the young ones when they get when they uh, 
get to see the glass court for the first time. Well, They're always very excited to uh, should have seen have my practice last on year. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they love to have a practice on it and jump on it any opportunity they get. Oh, just out of court there. Three, four. And out. I must say, for these young ages, the, the Five, three. ball and court awareness is, is, is quite high already. It is. Fantastic technique from these two from such a young age. Ooh. Six, Henry three. Henry a little bit misread the ball there. Left box, that's correct. Oh, hand out. Nice. Beautiful kill there. Very aggressive. Four, six. Yeah, a lot of play at the front of the court so far. I think on this court, especially, but this age group, the one that starts to use the height a bit more and gets the ball in the back two corners, uh, will most likely uh, come out, out on top. Now you see kind of starts using all angles. Seven, yeah. I like the four. four corners. So in practicing his cross court nicks in the, the uh, warm up. Again, nice low kill. Eight, four. Down. Hand out. Five, eight. And let's see if we can catch up to kind of stretch a little bit. Down. Hand out. Nine, five. He doesn't waste time, sir. No. He's <laughs> <laughs> so eager to get playing. He doesn't want to take his time on the serve. Oh, oh nice pick. Up. Ten five. Game ball. Left box. Oh. Down. Eleven five. Game to Canastrachi. Canastrachi leads. One it's game a very up tempo kit that kind of strategy. Mm. Walks very fast. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Wish I had that much energy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the, the the head coach. Did you did you play at a certain level that's uh, mentionable no. to the to the viewers? No, not really. Um, bit very different um, kind of. Um, route through to the head coach role that I suppose most squash players have. Um, I was a footballer, so football was my first sport, so I played that to a pretty good level. Um, and by the age of 18, I'd had three dislocated knees, well, the same knee, dislocated <laughs> three times, uh, and had to have surgery multiple, multiple times by the age of 18, which forced me into retiring from football. Um, and, I, and I actually... Uh, it was only, probably means that you trained pretty hard as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but it was only when I had to, to find something else. Play will resume in I 30 seconds. I stumbled upon squash and I kind of put all of my uh, everything I'd learned from the football days into my squash. Kind of strategy leads. And that kind of led from one thing to another. One game to love. Wait, do you know who is who's also a very, which famous ex footballers also a squash Down. fanatic these days? Uh, <laughs> one love. I'll tell you. It's is Mark, it? Marco from Boston. Ah, okay. Yeah. Nice. He, after his uh, retirement from football, he rolled into golf, Down. but uh, he's now Too totally low. hooked on squash. Nice. Nice. He's always on our club, nice. watching the trainings of the, the, the pros. Oh, really? Even matches on, like, my... Well, I'm, I'm sort of that sub top level. Down. Hand out. So there's something between footballers and, uh, and squash. I think it's just... One, uh, two. What you learn as a competitive sportsman, uh, all yeah. those kind of attributes can be carried across to, to many, yeah. many sports. Um, and if you put the work in and you're willing to Down. soak up as much information off Handouts. different coaches and players Three, two. as you can, you can, uh, you can catch up fairly quickly, I think. I oh. think so too. 
but obviously nothing uh, quite compares to playing at this age. And the stand of the squash Four, on show two. here at such a young age is uh, fantastic. I just gave, I just gave my, uh, my nephews their first squash lessons. Nice. They're seven, so yeah. I hope they will be performing at the British Junior Open at one stage. <laughs> They're twins, so I, I've doubled the chances. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've got I've got four children three, myself, four. Uh, but my three girls are very much into dancing and gymnastics. But my little boy is showing a lot of enthusiasm, and he's only two, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> now, handouts. Five, so, three. Back to the game where Benestracci uh, is taking a little lead already. Hitting his targets a little bit better. Yeah, and I think he, he plays a little bit more with his mind. I see that yeah. uh, Six, Henry Frost three. is on the reaction side of this game. Yeah. And uh, Ken Scratch is more of the. He, ma he makes up what happens. Yeah, Seven, he's moving the ball three. around well. And out, 4-7. Too aggressive there. Oh, and then I was a little surprised because at the beginning I thought that uh, Henry Foss was second seed, but it's the other and way out. around. So I have to correct myself. Canestracci is the second seed, and Henry Frost is the 5-8 to eight seed. Great length there in this shot. Out. Ooh. That's a hard throw rally there from the Five, two of them. Nine. It's actually quite impressive, these long rallies. Down. Six, nine. Not up. A little double Not bounce up. on the record there. Seven, likes to play nine. That post. Yeah, now Henry Frost gets uncomfortably close. Oh, no. Fault. Hand out. A little Ten, bit too, seven. Too enthusiastic. And seven game to Canestrati. Canestrati leads two games to love. So, what do you think of this game as a coach? Yeah, I, I, I mean, both players showing some good stuff. Um, Gabriel certainly love his just his racket preparation and his technique is uh, is yeah, very very impressive. Um, and. Yeah. That paired with his uh, tactical awareness and the way he's moving the ball around, and he's very he's smart moving the ball around. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, he's, he's uh, using, the, using the bows to work the ball in short as well, and he's looking in a strong position. But I also think it was good that Henry came a little bit closer this game than the last game. Yep, Hope, yeah, uh, gives him a little bit of confidence, and uh, yeah, he's building his way into it. I think he just needs to try and uh, get his length a bit more. When he did reach the back, it was just. A bit too deep and coming off the back wall and not putting enough pressure on uh, Gabriel. So, see if we can uh, do a bit more of that in the, in the third game. Play will resume a little in bit, 30 seconds. Uh, trouble turning. And that's pretty, especially tough because uh, Kenneth Stracci is, is like moving the ball pretty well around. Hmm. So, he's constantly turned from left Kenneth to right Stratchy and leads. a little bit losing Two his balance. Two games to love. Yep. Love all. That's not a bad thing. That's something that can be trained. Yeah. One love. Ball was good. The ball was good. Yeah, I saw the ball good. I think the more the more he finds his targets in the back two corners, he won't be put under as much pressure. So 
that won't be uh, exploited quite as much. Oh, great bevel oh, balls. Tight. Oh. I hope he's okay. Lost his balance a little bit there. One all. Is that right? Soft handed cross drop there. You could, Two, you could hear one. the record slice. You could hear those strings working through the ball. Down. And out. Two all. Taking his time on the serve this time. I think his coach has had a word with him about that. And out. Three two. There's a little bit of a lucky bounce Four there from two. the back wall. And this is nice. Now he takes a little lead. Not up. Not up. Not up. Stop. Thank you. Yeah, Henry's showing a good attitude Five, here. Five, two. He's not right getting box. his head down. He's uh, getting stuck in and working his way back into it. Down. Six. I hope I did not hear that correctly. Down. Now tables are turning a little bit. Right box, seven, two. Right box, stop, stop, right box. Seven, two. Seven, two. Right box. Right box, seven, two. <laughs> Left box. Left box, eight, two. And out. Fast on his feet there. Three, Just eight. Just missed it. Will he get back? Four, eight. Yeah, and that's uh, important that Frost keeps his head cool. There's a comfortable lead. Down. There he goes. That's and an out. important point to win. Nine, four. Change the momentum. Keep ahead. All right, stretch out there. Ten four. Game ball. Eleven four. Game to Frost. Can Strati leads two games to one. So, what happened there? A bit of a change of, uh, change of mindset, I think. I think it was uh, Frost's turn to uh, get the tactics right. Hitting the back corners better. Um, and I always think at this age, it, it's very much a mental battle. Who can keep the concentration the most? Um, you saw a very, very different body language as they left the court there. Yeah. Um, so, see what the coaches can say and see if we can get them uh, in the right mindset for the uh, for the next game well at least he, he knows what he needs to do because he won those first two games by moving the ball around he was able to do it then so he will be able to do it in the next one but I'm very glad for uh, for Frost that he came back it means that we have a match on our hand we do he's back on court nice and eager smile on his face yeah that's most important, of course. That they they will resume in 30 seconds. Enjoy themselves on court. Yeah, 100%. Big uh, philosophy of mine at my sessions. Uh, 15 seconds. Fun, uh, enjoyment has to come before anything for me. Yeah, for me, for me that's Where's this as court, well. I'm, I'm like 42 and I have like a good eight years in my legs. 
kind it's of hard every leads. day, but uh, Two games uh, to just one. the joy of being on court. Frost to serve. Keeps keeps me doing it. Yep. Love all. Again, no time is wasted before serving. Very quick. Great rally already. One love. Down. And out. One all. Down. <laughs> <laughs> the amazement of putting the ball in the bucket. <laughs> That was a trick shot. Might take him 100 attempts for that. Down. And out. Two all. It's a bit of a scrappy start here. I think they both need to settle down a little bit. And, uh... Ooh. Not up. That was very fast thinking there. Three, two. Fault. And out. Three all. Out. Hand out. I think both Four, players need to three. be learning as well when they make their little cheers. That do not do it on your opponent's mistakes. Down. But Five, three. Yeah, that'll come with, uh, with age. <laughs> A bit more experience. <laughs> it's fun to see. <laughs> it is Four, fun to see. Five. Out. Five all. Down. Ooh, very unlucky there. And out. Six five. And out. Six all. Mr. Canastracci, conduct warning, racket abuse, you need to keep control. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you. You need to keep control of your racket. Just look at me. Mr. Do you understand? Okay. 7 6. And we can't serve quick enough again. Wants to keep this momentum going. 8 6. Down. Nine six. Down. Stop, stop, jump, stop. Listen, stop. Conduct canastracci, stroke to frost, racket abuse. It, you can't hit the racket on the floor like that. You must keep control of it. That's now 11 6, game to frost, two games all. Yeah, they're just little boys. We have to forgive them for that. Have to, to learn how to manage it. Yeah, it's also sure. hard to manage for adults sometimes. I can it is, have it to is. admit. <laughs> it is. Uh... But uh, two all. I would not have uh, directly expected that after the, the quick two love lead that kind of stretch you took. But uh, very well done by uh, by Henry Frost. Yeah, it sets up an intriguing fifth game. Yeah, and it's battle of the mindset again. Battle of who can uh, get get the tactics right but probably just keep calm and relaxed it obviously it means a lot to these kids it's, yeah uh, to, to be in the British Junior Championships I'm sure they're really putting some pressure on themselves and it's who can uh, stay calm under that pressure easier said than done yeah and it's, it's, young it's, age. it's now the first time today that I can uh, can do it but it's uh, prediction time mark oh 
<laughs> I'm going to ask you uh, first. You, you get the first chance. What do you predict? Uh, uh, who do you predict the winner will be? I think I've got a. Play go. resuming 30 On seconds. Current body language of each player. Um, and Henry's on there looking very relaxed, very eager to get going. Um, so I would love Gabriel seconds. to come back into this and see a, an even fifth game. Hopefully, for the viewers, that's what we get. Yeah, so. How about you? I think that's a very strong argument. Two games all, Frost to serve, um, love all. Oh, time to put the glasses there. I think I'm going to go with uh, kind of stretchy. Uh, yeah, he, he wasn't ready. Yeah, level. Um, that I, I based that on the first two games. Down. They were, when he plays good, One he seems to be a little bit better and more aware of what's uh, happening on court. But yeah, it's very important that he keeps his cool. Yep. Yeah, use that boast. So I think the, the start of the game is very important for Gabriel. If he gets One himself all. ahead, he, quite, he could get that uh, spring in his step back quite quickly. Oh, wow. Back and serve. Mm. Cheeky. 2-1. Down. Hand out. Could also be a little bit of fatigue Two that he's missing balls now that he would have hammered in the next the first two games three two especially on day three out oh, just out four two four two Two. Oh, and then luck turns against him as well. Yeah. Six, two. Just to get a few points on the board here. Down. A little lucky break and there. Out. Yeah, could change things. Three, six. Good serve here. He's back into it. And out. Seven, three. Yeah, I think the first two games took their toll on uh, Kanastrachi. Seems to be missing out on some strength. Down. Hand out. It also seems he's, he won't Four, give up. Seven. There. Yeah, he's coming back into it with his favorite shot. Left box. Five, seven. A very Five, tense seven. rally. Down. He missed by Frost. Six, now kind of strikes is totally back in this match. Are we going for a tie break? Down. Seven all. This is the moment where they need to take the time and uh, Seven all. try and keep calm. Hand out. Eight, seven. Ooh, great get there. Oh, very nice left-handed drop shot. Very yeah, nice guy. And out. Eight all. Eight all. Nice tight drive there, followed up with a nice straight drop. Lovely. Nine and eight. Out. Tension rises. Nine eight. And we have a first match ball. Tonight. Match ball. Fault. I said fault. 
Yeah, it means it was out. Hand out. 9-10, match ball. Oh, and we have our tie break. You Ten all, oh my God. Tension rises here points. in the commentary box as well. 10 all, a player must win by two points. Crowd what a thriller. This one. Oh, and now this. Hand out. 11 10, match ball. Ref even has to raise his voice to make himself audible over the crowd. Oh. oh, and a double bounce. 12 10. Match the frost. Three games to two. Five, this was 11, a real I 7, can, 11, I certainly 11, understand. 4, 11, 5, Little Henry 11, Frost's, 6, uh, joy there. 12, 10. I think we've seen a great comeback. And, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, but the, the, the ref of this match was uh, Ashley Smith. Want to do that before the match, but uh, wow, what a match. Oh, really Congratulations on your uh, on your on your good prediction. Just, just, it's very close. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was a really enjoying, enjoyable game. Both players uh, showed some really good technical and tactical uh, awareness, and it was just who could hold it together the best at the end, I think. Yeah, and what an end it was. It was a, a tiebreaker. Um, well, uh, Mark, thank you very much for, uh, for joining me today. Um, next match on court will be the girls' under-15 semi-final between Reka Kameshi and... Fern Copley. Um, we will go out for a little bit for a zip of coffee and then uh, we will get right back. So stay tuned at home. We see you later.
Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023. We're here live from the Abbeydale, Abbeydale Park Sports and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarters and semi-final matches. Next on court is the girls' under-15 match between Reka Kameshi from Sussex and Fern Copley from Yorkshire. And with me to guide me through this action is George Barker. And, and George Barker, you're actually a participant in the tournament. Yeah. In the boys under 15 category. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. I, uh, I understood you lost a, uh, a thriller last night in yeah. the, the, the quarters of the boys under 15 category. Yeah, tight 3-2. Didn't quite have the legs in me to finish it off. And who did you play? Ali Khalil. I've had quite a lot of battles with him. Oh, Ali Khalil, the Khalil, uh, the, yeah. the, 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 the brothers. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and uh, were you seeded? I was seeded to win that. But oh, my God. That's, yeah. uh, that's too bad. <laughs> but on the other hand, you kind of want a, a spot here with me in the, mm, in the yeah. commentary box. Yeah, so I'm quite excited. Who's, who's laughing now? Yeah. <laughs> well, George is most certainly laughing. Um, George, you probably know the, the two girls are going on court. What yeah. can you tell me about them? Yeah, so I train with Fern quite a bit. She's been working very hard at Ponty. And she, well, had quite, uh, she had plenty of confidence going into it. Well. Just doing she's championships 2023. Well and Reiko, well, she's, I think she's won a couple Girls, of these kind 15, of tournaments before. semi-final. Yeah, always going to be a tough opponent. Fern, Copley, yeah, and, uh, to serve. Oh, yeah. I would want to Kamate, say... Oh, yeah. The, Rika, the match Kamate is led Kamate by... To receive... Jet Best of shoots. five games, the ball. So then we know that as well. And the people at home is too. Let's go. And it's go time. Yeah, one, one, th one thing you're going to get from Raker is relentless length. It's so consistent. I must say, I, I, the, I think I've seen her play. Maybe last year at the British Juniors? Yeah. Maybe at the Dutch Junior Open. Yeah, yeah, she did go there this year. Too low. Do you know by any chance who both girls are trained by? Uh, Fern being coached by James Wolstrop and Raker. I can't say I'm sure, but I know she trains a lot with Tori Malik at Crawley. Don't know who coaches her. Four love. Oh, they're quite a, they have quite the history together. Mm, yeah. Going both ways. Mm. Yeah, they both they both often Five get to the last stage of these big tournaments. Did you ever win win in an H category? Pardon? Did you ever win one of the H categories? Have I ever won an H yeah? category? Uh, Six, no, 12. I haven't. I think I've come third twice, maybe, and then I've been top eight most years. Yeah. Luck there. Seven low. Well, that's quite the beginning of the game for uh, Reka. Yeah. Kameshi. Taking seven love lead. Eight love. This court probably suits a length quite well. It dies it, a little bit. In yeah, the the, yeah, the pace she plays with it will just die into the back corners. Nine love. <laughs> so ten, ten love. love. Mm. Game ball. Smells like bagels in here. It does. Oh yeah, it's a good length. Yeah, she, did, Very good she yeah, deserved a point for that shot. Hand out. 
and bagel averted. 110 game ball. Yes, sir, not quite finding the side one. Ball. Game to so we have uh, 11 1 on our Kamachi hands here for uh, one game for Rick Meshi. And um, yeah, that's, that's quite a big one. Mm. Yeah, not an amazing start for Fern, although can't take anything away from Raker. It was solid, high-paced okay. start. Not many errors. Well, not any errors. Yeah. No, even that, that one point that uh, Fern made, yeah, it, was, it, was, it was an unforced yeah, error, I yeah. think. It was purely out of a good shot from Fern. Well, no, we wouldn't. Should be looking, hopefully, to slow the game down a bit, kind of bring it down to her pace, because Raker quite likes to play that really fast pace but that's Fern would probably like to slow it down a bit suit her game oh yeah now I see that uh, Fern is coached by Wilstrup and yep. Reka is coached by uh, Mr. Malik. Uh, yeah yeah. So yeah both of them have some top coaches yeah James coached me yesterday as well yeah yeah Oh, he didn't do a good job then. Well, yeah, I'd say he did do a good job. I just didn't quite deliver on what he wanted me to do. Yeah, and I've known Fern for quite a long time as well. I only realised, like, maybe just under a year ago that I actually went to nursery with her as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They will resume in 30 seconds. So that means that you will be rooting for Fern from here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, she's been training really hard and she's been looking forward to it because she missed the the last big tournament at, at Buckinghamshire, but she's been working hard and looking forward to this one. And obviously a good win yesterday against Renata Colabella. One uh, game to love. The, the seed. ball. Yeah, was it? Mm. Oh, wow. Knocked out the 3-4 seed yesterday. Down. One low. Down. And out. First error from Raker. One all. And out. I see Two that uh, Raker Kamesh moves quite, quite smoothly mm, over the court. Yeah, very efficient mover. Armed with a very aggressive three one boast. Mm. I think the way she just gets onto it so early and it goes so fast around the walls, she gives you no time to react almost. Actually set off. Boast is a mighty weapon in this, uh, yeah. in this game already. Especially on this court, it just look to die in the sidewalls. It's a better start from Fern, though. Actually, she's contested in these first few rallies so far. Yeah, that's always good. Inject mm. a little bit of fear in your opponents. Yeah, even if you're not winning rallies, if you're Five, making them work one. hard for them, it's still a lot better than losing. Easy. Uh, and out two five oh, yeah. a drop shot there mm. nice that, little hold yeah the length set and everything out. up and then Six, force two. Fern to boast it round and then yeah the, the hold threats a lot of options in that front right as well well, we've seen what she could do with the boast, so Seven, that's two. definitely something to watch out for. Yeah, if you play a loose ball, you have to cover the whole mm, court yeah. after that. It's, uh, yeah, you can't leave anywhere open. No. Yeah, like that. It mentally also very Eight, hard. Two. Mm. Yeah, it leaves your opponent guessing because she hits shots like that and then she hits the drops and then she straightens it nicely down the sidewall. It's, yeah, it's difficult to know where to go to be ready for.
Nine, two. So again, a very big difference here in the second game. Yeah, as I said, she start, had a good start contesting in the rallies for maybe just let it run away from her. Losing a bit of concentration, maybe. Although playing like that, you can't fault Raker. 10 2. Game ball. Oh. 11 2. Came to Tomatichi. So, quick game again. Mm, yeah. Tomatichi. Leads. She got a few more up. chances there. I think Fern like that one at the end. I mean, just a bit rushed, purely because she wasn't getting the chances. She felt she had to almost do too much. Okay. Yeah. To to hit a winner. Yeah. This is going to be a very tough one to get back from. Mm. On for that. Yeah. You told her, you? And maybe what I think is that. The Fern Copeland needs, needs to use a little bit more height. Mm. Yeah, and this, this court rewards height as well. I've only played on here once before, but the lift, especially out the front corner, is a, a crucial shot on all glass courts, really, but especially this one being a little bit deader than some of the others. How many glass courts have you played on? Uh, I've played on maybe three or four. I think I've played on all the ones that are in England. Um, in... Uh, St. George's, Nottingham, Manchester, and here. There might be another one I'm missing out, but I've played on those four, so probably four or five, yeah. Nice. Yeah, they all they all reward the, the length and the attacking play as well, dying into the side walls. Did you also play the, 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 the semi-glass court in Amsterdam? On the Dutch Junior I Open. didn't. I didn't get a chance to play on that one. I watched a lot of matches on it. That was. That would have been very interesting to play on, actually. It is. I played my. Com I played my competition matches on that one. What's it like to play on? Play will resume. Just like any other in glass court. In 30 sport. seconds. Yeah. Dies in the back. Yeah. For some reason, a glass court just seems more spacious. Mm. With the white courts, it's like it looks like a smaller room. Yeah. 15 seconds. So Reiki Kameshi already back on court. Yeah, I think she just wants to get this done and dusted as energy efficient Time. as possible. And Fern, Fern won't give up that easily. I hope not, but I hope she will be able to yeah. find the right thing to leads to Kameshi's armor a little bit. To love. Love all. To prevent her from playing that deadly boast. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to stop from doing that, you've got to find the back corners consistently. But it's not easy to do when Rake is playing so well. Yeah, great reach as well. Mm. Oh. That just shows how deadly that boast is. Fern read it and covered it, but still so fast moving away from a such a hard shot to play. I hope she aimed for that. Yeah, that's a quality boast of her own there. And out. One all. Down. Two, one. I hope for Fern that she uh, gets a chance to get a couple of points in a row now to boost her confidence. Up. Yeah. Yeah, she does need something. And out to she all. Stay, if she wants to stay in this match. Yeah, you can't leave it there. That's, Three, two. It's deadly. Four, two. Relentless there, that's yeah, absolutely no mercy. Five, 
five, two. Even there, when it's not extremely powerful, it's tight to the sidewall. Although, as I said, she's been training a lot with Tori Malik, who's obviously establishing herself as a pro on the tour. So she's obviously getting some high quality play in there. So it's no surprise she's playing so well. There she goes. She's played very three dimensional using width, yeah. Six, length, and height two. a lot. Maybe just losing Seven, a bit of concentration two. for and just needs to get back into it. Reset. Yeah, it's, good. it's quite hard, I think. The belief of winning might... Yeah, it is. It's very difficult yeah. to... Hand out. A bit of luck might help her there, though. Three, seven. Yeah, it's very difficult to keep the confidence and keep the will to want to win when you're really struggling. Stroke. Dramatic. Hand out. Eight, three. Yeah, did well to cover that drop and get it back, but not in the end, not quite getting enough height on the lob. And again, nine, nice three. Drop. She has some good drop shots. Yeah. Um, yeah unfortunately, I don't see it happening anymore for Fern. No. Seven match balls. Ten three. For Reka Kameshi. Well, it's been match a ball. relentless performance from Reka. She probably deserves the win at this point. It's been brilliant. I think so. Who do you think she will be playing in the finals? Who's in the other semi Oh, Hattie Broadbridge and Mia Sloan Thomas. Yeah. yeah, that's well, that's a tough one actually. That'll be, that'll be close three actually. Games. I have to go see Come what's up. going on on that court because yeah, that'll be a tough one. Whoever, I think whoever wins will definitely give Reiko a run and whoever loses in that semi will also have a tight match with Fern for third place. Well, that gives us something to look forward to for sure. Um, everybody at home, thanks for watching. We will be taking a short break. Peter Barker, thank you very much. People thank at you. home remember this name because you actually did very well here. Thank you. I'm actually uh, afraid Enjoyed for my it. job right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank. I hope I hope uh, you will join me uh, a little bit more. Uh, but of course, you have your own tournament to yep. uh, to finish, in which I wish wish you uh, good luck. Thank you. Um, so everybody at home, stay tuned. We will be right back.
Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarters and semifinals. Next on court is the girls under 13 match between Siona Misra, sorry, girls under 11 match between Siona Misra from Warwickshire and Elsie Griffiths from South Wales. And with me to guide me through the action of this match is Tim Vale, the tournament director. How are you, Tim? I'm good, thank you. Welcome here, welcome back. Done this before, and uh, you know all these kids, huh? Yeah, I know a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, so they play quite a few of the tournaments. Um, Sienna's number one seed. She's number one ranked in, in England. Um, so she's a favourite here. Elsie, really good player from, from Wales. She's been winning a few of the other competitions, so it should be a good game. And didn't we see her sister a little bit earlier today? Eve, yeah, Eve was playing in the girls under 19s, yeah. Oh, I, I thought no, there was also... No, Phoebe, Phoebe's, no, no. Uh, no, they're not related. And uh, what, what, what do you think about this match coming on now? Any um, predictions? Or, well, predictions early, but... Yeah, I mean, Shane is quite a lot taller and stronger, so I think she'll have a big advantage on this court. But Elsie moves really well. Um, so it'll be which one does those, that bit best, I think, to see what happens. Yeah, well, it should be exciting stuff, just like uh, some of the other matches today. Did you see the, the boys under nine? The, the, the mixed under nine? Uh, I, I literally just came in and saw the celebrations when, they, when he won. <laughs> it was a thriller. It was a uh, one love. tie break in the, in the last game. But it was uh, it's amazing stuff. It's, it's good Licks. scores today and uh, really enjoyable for me to be doing this. You see all this from up front. Good shot. To love. Ooh. Great bows there. And out one two. Yeah, I see I see that both girls have a small history together, playing each other twice. And um, two all. Sienna's uh, one Shana won both. Yeah. At the Kenilworth Junior Open and the Silver Five Devon Three, Junior. Three, two. Down. Elsie's going to have to start volume as we turn this over. Four, two. Values. Yeah, at these younger age groups today also, it's clear that the serve is a powerful weapon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you can force them to both Five, two. They get it back. Yeah. You know, if they don't look to volley and, and the ball drops, sometimes they struggle to get it out of the back corners. Not up. Hand out. 3 5. Interesting. So Siena passed the ball to left because she's a lefty, so people normally <laughs> serve to her backhand. <laughs> they shoot the ball straight away and went back to the right box. Good base. That's up. She Four, does good five. To, uh, to stay in uh, Shiona's tracks now. Oh, good game. Hand out. Almost Six, too bad she four. stopped running. I think she could have made it. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, I think she could have. Down. Could you supply it on the front there to get Hand the out. Five, six. Down. So you're very, Hand very out. Seven, five. Is that Sienna is more powerful. Yeah. I actually hit that quite hard into that corner where Elsie tends to like to lift it. You know, it's got to volley that. Eight, That's always hard if you have a, like, uh, a opponent that, that grew a little harder than you at one point and they have more, more physical strength. I had a lot of that myself as a junior. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes you Hand think out. more. It makes Six, you technically eight. maybe a little bit stronger. Yeah, you definitely have to think more. You're not going to outpower someone who's bigger and stronger than you. Ooh, that's too bad. Hand out. Nine, six. Hand out. Seven, nine. She could have got that. She got a bit lower to it. I think so too. She's pretty 
Straight up? Yeah, yeah, a bit too upright. Just a little lower. So nice Eight, and nine. Close first game on our hands. Eight, nine. Hand out. Ten eight. Game ball. Chose not to volley again. Eleven eight. Into Mishra. Mishra needs one game to love. Interesting between games. See if the coach says that she can start volleying the return of serve, whether she actually does. Who is she coached by? Mum. Uh, who's here today? With Oh no, this is Sally, the Welsh coach is here. And her sister. Oh, and by the way, um, do you know who who's leading the match? Who's the ref this one? Uh, Steve Eccles is the ref for this match. Steve Eccles. He was not on my list. <laughs> no, I, I, I want to, to announce the refs as well and uh, give them a little shout out for putting in all the hard work. I think they are all their hard work and uh, also enthusiasm for the game is uh, a little bit underlighted sometimes. Yeah, it's nice here that actually um, we've got nine refs today covering all five courts. So. And some world class refs, eh? I saw, yeah, yeah, John Masvidal. Uh, I think they're doing more. And Andrew Santana. They resume in 30 assistant. seconds. Yeah, and probably the finals tomorrow. Possibly, I'm not sure. I don't know actually. So one love. To she needs one game to love. And love let's all. see if the first volley. Nope. Yeah, that's where, that's the, where the power of Mishra. One love. A definite advantage there. Two love. Coaching Mishra in between games is uh, PSA player Alicia Mead. Oh, wow. Yeah. And out. Based at um, Edgerston Priory in Warwickshire. One, two. Two all. Forgot to run there. Yeah, good depth into the corner there. And out. 3-2. It dies a little bit, at the ball. Yeah, if you, get the, if you get the right way, you've shot here. The ball definitely dies in the back. Like that. 4-2. Got a good strong forehand, nice good racket. And out, 3-4. Yeah, I think she, she can rely so much on her on her strength that she sometimes forgets to turn towards the ball. Yeah. Hand out. Five a little three. straight up. But on the other hand, how long has she, she been playing? Maybe two years. Maybe a little bit longer, actually. Hand out. Four, six. Oh, at least she played in Birmingham 2020, so that's the that next <laughs> three years. Top. Nice little drop shot there. Five, six. Well run. Ooh. Just missed it. Six all. Smart idea, though. Seven six. Yeah. Lacking a little bit of the accuracy. Yeah, or a little drop would have won the rally there. I think. I think Sienna would have got it to get it. Oh. Rally. Eight six. Six. Quite the same. Uh, it's 
scores as the as the last game. Yeah, not as close as this stage. Going to six all, and then nine six, and then yeah, lots of um, left side, please. Whenever the ball goes to the forehand, she's really good at game just ball. driving it into the back corner, and else is struggling to get it out. Down. And out seven ten game ball. Ooh. 11 7. Unable to position herself. Two games to love. Came the ball down 11 7. Two love for Misha. Yeah, it's quite quite normal, I think, seeing, the, seeing how both players play the game. Yeah, I think you know, if you've given this advice to Elsie now, it would be more about trying to get the ball down, uh, staying his backhand into the backhand corner. I think her forehand's quite strong. And her backhand's not quite as strong if she can get the ball into that area. Yeah, and I, I would say, like, try and switch between front and back and front and back. Yeah. Make her run a lot. Because yeah, yeah. she seems a little bit, like... Um, she's a bit too upright when she yeah. moves forward. Yeah. So she has a, a slow start if she if she runs or if she sprints. But it's hard enough if you first have to defend yourself against those cannonballs. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is obviously the main thing with, with the show court, but we're using Hallamshire and yeah. forward as well uh, for this event. And uh, they're really good up in Sheffield. All three clubs work really well together. Yeah, it's, it's nice that it's three. Yeah. 17 courts in total, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah, so we're using eight at um, Hampshire and four at forward and five here. So, yeah, 17. And do you, and now, as tournament director, do you have to be at all three clubs the whole time or just here? I am ba based myself here because that's where the, the main main um, quarters and settings and stuff are. But if I need you to go somewhere else, then I'll go. Yeah. Okay. But we've One got all. enough. England squash style here to Ball. cover and, and, and two and one. good TOs that are around the desks at all the venues. So we've all worked really well together. Yeah, that's good to hear. But I must say that's also how it seems. As a as an outstander Three, I see that you one. have uh, but I know you, you're you're like you do everything. I wonder if you also do the dishes after you're done today at the tournament desk. No, I haven't, I haven't been to that far. Clean the team court, sat a few rackets, done a bit of commentary, ref to cut the games, <laughs> done a bit of coaching. And Some people even think that, they're, that you have an, a secret twin bro brother who you do everything with. See, our brother is here. <laughs> <laughs> My niece's daughter's played in I'm this. I'm out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, she's playing the girls on the 15s. But we don't look like he's got hair. I don't know. <laughs> and out, three, four. The three, four again. In the beginning, in the first half of the games, it's, it's like an even battle. Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. At least she tried to volley that four one. Four, all. Nice little drop shot. And out, 5-4. And out, 5-0. Five all. Five all. Last game was 6 all, wasn't it? And they went, then it went away. Yeah, in the first game as well. Yeah. 6 all, and then it was 9-6. Uh, and out, 6-5. Seven five at the corner. Happens a lot, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, of oh. course. I've, I've been sitting here all day. Yeah. <laughs> so seen I've seen all. a lot of the Eight that back five. and corner. Right side piece. Nine five. Ooh. And out six nine. She's almost there. 
Yeah, good use of height again there. Oh, there's a volley. Don't you wonder, it Ali? works. Come down. <laughs> okay. Ten six. Volleys win the rallies. Halt. Oh, that's just too bad. And out. Seven ten. Nerves at game ball. And now we see it. Hard work pays off. Believing in yourself pays off. 1 2. And that was, uh, well, a little unexpected, but not too unexpected, I think. No, I think it was always possible, wasn't it? Yeah. It was always possible. If you got the ball in the right area and you could make Sienna move around, then I think she was always going to have a chance. Yeah. No, that's very good. I hope she can uh, keep her. Keep this focus. Because she, she was doing a couple of things right to disturb Shona's match, uh, gameplay a little bit. Yeah, yeah, she got the ball a bit earlier. Put some good balls into the front. Yeah, did you ever play these? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> the the British juniors. I peaked peaked too early. I was runner up in the under 12s to Lee Beachall. Okay. And then. Not a shabby name to lose from. No, no. And then I got semis in the 14s and then quarters in the 16s and then I lost to Beachel again in the quarters of the 19s. Okay. In 30 seconds. And then you thought, well, I'm going to focus on the Masters. Come to <laughs> no, no, I played full-time for three years and then I was still coaching two games to one. Griffiths to serve. Love all. You made it to top 100, right? PSA. 107. 107, wow. Yeah. Never my best abroad. And out, one love. Well, back to the game. There's that, there's that forehand drive she likes. Two love. Oh, nice drop. Three love. A real roller. And out. So far. 1-3. And out. 4-1. That's quite a big lead now already. Oh, good shot. 5-1. It was a very she, beautiful yeah, shot. She rotated well for that one to get on the side of the ball. Out. Yeah, and it, it's, it is hard to rotate Six, constantly. One. You think you rotate, but you don't do it. You have to remind yourself every point, every day. It's essential, for sure. 7-1. Yeah, I'm not sure there's much comeback from here now. Michelle's serving well. Always been loose in the middle, and uh, she put no weight. Yeah, that's our Hand out. Two seven. Uh, that's She's a big one to get back from. Now. Yeah, great down ball there in the corner. Eight, two. Nine two. Oh. Ooh. And out yeah, three nine. Been tight there, so it rolled over the top of that one. She's been hitting that one well so far today. <laughs> oh, nice follow. And out ten three match ball. So match ball. And the maze. Three games to one. So Shiona Mishra makes it through to the. Probably to, to the semi finals. Or is it. Where are we? Girls under 11s. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a semi. This was a semi. Yeah. So Shiona makes it through the final. So congratulations. 
Tim, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me here. It was, uh, was a pleasure as always. But I'm uh, going to let you off to uh, do your, uh, your real job, tournament director. You're needed on the other side of the tournament uh, desk. And everybody at home, stay tuned. We're going to take a little break for a zip of water. And then we'll be right back for the match between Luke McBride and Ali Khalil. And that will be at 1? 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Yeah, there's a break now. Oh, there's um, a break. Oh, because I'm... at Hallamshire, there's an exhibition game between Nick Matthew and Daryl Selby. Oh, wow. That's starting in 10 minutes at 1 o'clock. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I'm going to use it to do some lunch. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so super. Uh, Tim, thanks, uh, thanks again, and uh, we will see you uh, later, and everybody at home. Stay tuned. We'll be back in, uh, at 2 o'clock. Goodbye.
Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023. Brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarters and semi-final Watch matches. Out. And next on court is the boys under 15 semi-final match between Ali Khalil and, uh, from Warwickshire and Luke McBride from Surrey. And with me to guide me through the action is Caleb Boy. Uh, welcome, Caleb. Hi, pleasure to be here. You're actually a uh, participant, uh, but you yes, had I to am. pull out. You were the, uh, one of the uh, contenders for the title, but what happens? Ish. Um, yeah, just not, not 100%. Um, but yeah, I had a great time. Good event as always, and just, just watching the squash now. Yeah, now it's up uh, to watching squash. And uh, yeah. prepare yourself as a uh, maybe a future as commenter at scores matches. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Or are you still um, uh, trying to con to train and compete in the Olympics? Hopefully, yeah. 20, 2028 uh, five years away. So we'll see see how the next five years go training wise, and then. And who do you train with? Uh, so. I'm actually at uni in Loughborough, um, so I'm doing a lot with Dan McGinn at the moment, um, but back home my coach is Ben Ford, um, so good, very good setup, very lucky to have them. That's actually quite nice, and do you know these boys on court? Yeah, no, I know, um, I know Luke McBride and uh, Ali as well, um, both fantastic players, um, it should be a brilliant contest, really good contest. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I think Luke McBride was seeded to be seeded one. Yeah, Luke, Luke's <coughs> number one seed. Ali, I think, is 5'8". Um, he beat George Barker yesterday in five. Um, so, took out the higher seed yesterday. So, no reason he can't do it today. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we just had Georgie in here. He was, uh, he, was, uh, he was very happy, but still a little bit sad, of course, about his loss. Yeah, it's always tough. Um, yeah, hopefully he comes back fighting for the next one. Yeah, and for everybody at home, I, um, I somewhere have a little bit of history between these two boys because they probably will have played each other a lot of times on the English tournament circuit. So, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot, and I there see wins going both ways, seconds. tight matches. Only the last match was won by Luke McBride <laughs> in 3-2, so we're up for... Uh, for an exciting matchup, I think. I think this is going to be a great match. Um, both the players. Way, this is Junior Championships 2023. Boys um, in the 15th semi final. Yeah, here we go. Here we go, exactly. Serve. Luke McBride to receive. Best of five games. Love all. Both boys at least giving each other a good run for their money. The first yeah. rally already. It's always great to have a long first rally, sort of settle the nerves, get, get your groove. Now. And I can imagine, I haven't seen them play on the no, no. center court yesterday, so I can imagine for them it's a little switch well, as well no. from the white court to the center court. Yeah, it's uh, not the easiest court to play on. Um, very different to the plaster, plaster boards. Um, but I mean, they, they'll both be, should be fine. Stroked Khalil. And now. Long rallies at the beginning stages of this match. Yeah. Is, is Khalil's nickname Smiley, or is that his brother? That's his uh, older no, brother. His older brother, Ismail. Yeah, Ismail. Um, and out. Sure, he's here somewhere in the crowd. 2 1. Probably coaching his younger brother. Could be. I see him first row. Is he down there? No. Yeah. 
the stands here at Abbeydale Park have also filled up pretty nicely. Yeah, it's a, again going to be a brilliant match, so I'm not, not surprised we've got the turnout we've got. 3 1. Stroke to McBride. 4 1. Pulled that out a bit wider. So the record was maybe a little a, a little tad late. Yeah. For a stroke. Oh, that nice shot there from Nicolo. Yeah, and it, it seemed like not too much was happening in that rally, but I, I think it's very hard for both players to to Two, find the smallest holes in each other's defense. Yeah, I think when you've got players of this quality, it's it's hard to get a chance to actually take it in or do something with the ball. So they end up just trading trading it down the backhand side. Um, oh. Yeah, as soon as something comes in. And I yeah. think you will see see more and more attacking play when players get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, potentially. Um, and out. Then it will open the court up a little bit more, but now defense, the ranks are closed. Yeah. I think it, especially in the first game, it's just important to settle. And like I said earlier, just find a groove. Um, but yeah, I think second and third game once the legs start getting a bit weary we might see a few more loose balls a bit more a, bit, a few more opportunities to take them um, oh And out. And that's Three a very five. unfortunate mistake there by Luke McBride. Two hours in a row there. Four, five. Yeah, and that brings uh, Khalil right back into this game. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, he was uh, behind pretty quickly. 5 2. Yeah, 3. And brings it back to 5 all. 3 fairly quick points there. Um, be interested to see who gets this first game and what that's going to mean for the rest of the match. Oh, nice boat there. Sure. 6 5.
stretch your boy. Sorry. Can you... Hand out, six all. So I uh, saw in the tournament schedule today, reserved like a half an hour block for this match. What do you think? Quickly, you make please. It? Just in half an hour. Ooh. Half an hour, maybe first game. Six all, hand out. Oof. Balls at the front. Yeah, this is going <laughs> to be half an hour. <laughs> Look at break there. Yeah. Seven, six. But I do have a little bit of the idea that both players could put a little bit more effort in leaning into the volley, searching for the volley. Yeah, so um, lot is letting go, uh, let go, being let go. Well, they're moving it to the back ball a bit. Um, it's also thinking about the quality of the balls that are being played as well um, and the speed. Sometimes it's just easier to let it go back, reset, and try go for the next one. Um, yeah, if, if I was in the corners, I'd definitely be saying, you know, just up the intensity a little bit, maybe volley a bit more. Um, they're both utilizing a lot of boasts as well, it seems. Definitely attacking boasts. Well, that I approach, I like this. A good boast is a very powerful weapon. Yeah, I love a boast. Maybe a bit too much. And out. So it's important to remember that a boast Eight, is seven. not. It's not. Uh, I said it. It's not meant to be played hard or with a lot of strength. Yeah, it's trying to find that angle. Um, yeah, I've seen. Seen a lot from the mid, mid to back court. Both players just playing close into the front, trying to, yeah, trying to catch the other off guard. Um, probably working against most players, but both of these guys are such great movers that they're retrieving it. Lucky break there for Luke McBride this game. Yeah. yeah. Gotta to, gotta to take those. Um, <laughs> You've gotta be happy with it. Take them. The uh, back corners on glass courts are always interesting. Very sharp. I love 
Let's see, by the way, the 12th players are also very patient, very, very mature. It's really waiting for the good chances. And as he said, uh, um, exactly, commentator's curse. <laughs> Jinx it. No, it's unfortunate on that, but no, definitely, they're both um, sensible players. They seem to be playing the right shots at the right times, mostly. Um, yeah, see how that goes when the, when the fatigue sets in. Yeah, that'll be the breaking point of the match, I think. Yeah, some, some players are pretty prone to uh, just not thinking when they're tired. I'm definitely one of them. Yeah, so am I. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Yeah. No, these, these two boys are... Nine, ten. I mean, obviously Game they're ball. not getting on, but under 15s, they're, they've been around around the block a couple times. Yeah, exactly. Um, and both of them would have been in situations like this multiple times, so they know how to deal with it. McBride. Yeah, there was McBride some uh, mature squad there on display, up. and um, Ali Khalil taking this, uh, sorry, uh, Luke McBride taking this first game, yeah, pretty pretty close actually, 11-9. Yeah, really I think the difference was just Luke had it, having better length um, at crucial times, caught, caught a couple lucky, lucky shots in the back. But I think those were actually the difference between... Yeah, um, but that does come from having that length and giving yourself the best sort of chance Yeah, of having that happen. Um, and like I said, on the, on the last point there, it just showed perfect, perfect cross court, dies in the back corner, nothing you can do. Um, uh, I'm excited for the second game already. We've seen a lot of uh, the younger age groups perform today. Some matches were actually quite good, quite thrilling to see how good these young people can be. But this is where it turns into yeah. real squash. Yeah, I think when we, or when I got to under 15s anyway, it was um, it was a big step up physically. This is when yeah. you start to get, you know, people get bigger, stronger. Some don't, so it's where the where the physicality starts to make a difference. Um, but yeah, this is where you really start to see the top players coming through and really shining. Um, both of these boys are, you know, fast, strong, fit. Okay. Um, you still hear me? You and, and I think I'm, I'm very right excited to see how they do. One game to love. Not just in this age group, but as they go through into the hopefully senior game. The ball. Another boast from Ali. And now one love. Nice, nice drop shot. shot there. Looks like they've upped the intensity. Two love. Bit. A bit faster paced. And out, one, two. No. Out. Two in a row. Two all. Yeah, I think Kilo's just getting a bit frustrated with himself there. Yeah, that's always something to watch out for.
pick up. Yeah, great length from Khalil. Yeah, Khalil's applying some pressure to the back of the court now. Yeah. Did you see who he was speaking to him in between games? Was it his brother? Or? Uh, his brother and together with the guy up there in the red sweater. Front row. Uh, almost. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, his, his dad. His dad. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Khalil. Chief ever there from McBride. 4 2. Oh, oh, great shot. And out. 3 4. There's that length. I think both players could maybe inject a little bit more variety in the game. It's a lot of hard pounding to the back. Yeah. Putting pressure. An occasional boast, of course, but... Yeah, I think, as things stand, I'd say Ali's probably played a, with a bit more variety than, than, than Luke has. Um, but I think both do need to take it in short a bit more when they have got those opportunities. It does seem like they're hesitant almost to take it in. Um, on the other hand, I can, ex I, I can I say, understand sure. it. Seen the last match was uh, tied 3 2. 5 4. Yeah. So every mistake you make can be sort of crucial in this, uh, in that they know up front. Yeah, no, it could end up being the difference between winning the game and losing the game. Um, I think I wouldn't be surprised if they are maybe a little bit, a little bit hesitant to take Coach it in. McBride, 6 4. Was there though? Seven four. Thank you. Slightly. And out. 5-7. Yeah, so he manages to keep himself in the game. Five seven and eight four. There's like a world difference. No, definitely a crucial point. Um, this one as well will be quite quite big. So hopefully no. No one for Sarah. Stroke to Khalil. Six, seven. Yeah. McBride just kind of pulled out of the shot there, dragged it away from the wall, and stroke given. Yeah, that yeah, was well, a fair stroke. Yeah. I must say, I'm pretty content with uh, the level of the referees over the. Yeah, I've, I've been pretty content with it as well, to be honest. It's been, been uh, of a very good standard, actually. Um, and always good fun to talk to.
Just let. Food. Left side, 6 7. Low definitely doing fair share of work in that rally. Yeah, I don't think he's too. I'm pleased with the let. Sorry, to. to uh, uh, I think that uh, Khalil is not too unpleased with that let in the last no, rally. No, definitely. And out. Definitely take that. 8 6. Kill shot. Nine six good. <coughs> Left side there, please. I didn't see anything wrong with that one. Um, no, it was even a great, kill. great body movement as well because I would have sworn there was going to come across. Yeah, he disguised it really well. Um, Ten six game ball. Three this game or four? Yeah, it's Just hit out on the side there. Yeah, it seems like he's a little bit over oh, hitting the ball Ten when he is a, a good position, but also Five when he's like under very games. much pressure. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, he kind of let that game get away from him. Um, it's fairly close up until five all, six all, um, and then I don't know if it got to six all, but. Um, just seemed like McBride ran away with it there. Yeah, in the end he did. And it was... Uh, I think the pressure just became a little bit too much. Seeing yeah. the, the, those out balls and down balls. Yeah, I felt like errors at crucial times from Khalil. And some really, really good clean play from McBride. Just doing what had to be done. Uh, keeping it sensible. Disciplined squash. Um, yeah, I think... I think if, got, if I was in Kiddo's corner, I'd definitely want. Especially now when there's, in a way, a little bit less pressure on him. You know, two love down. Yeah, he's got nothing true. to lose. He's got to go out there and really try and get on that ball a bit earlier and take McBride in short a bit more and actually control that in the middle of the court. Because otherwise, I, I, I think in terms of a length game, they resume in 30 currently, seconds. How many Susie McBride? Well, we're about to see. As the players approach the court, I'm getting on it. Fifteen seconds. McBride leads. Two games to love. The ball. Beautiful soft finish there by Alec Khalil. And out, one love. Just the right cut on that ball. Yeah, kind of just guarded it in there. Really nice shot. Down. Two Almost. love. <laughs> Almost, eh?
That was a great setup again for the volley. And now, yeah. one, two. I don't think Khalil's happy with the floor. I know they were having issues yesterday during um, Jamie Brown and Corey Harding's match. They had Tim come on a couple times to just give the floor a bit of a bit of a mop. Well, it's good that you mention it. I had this talk uh, the other match with Mark. It works here. Yeah, yeah. He says to keep the, the white ball visible, the floor needs to have a little layer of color. So under on the normal like white yeah wood floor. There's an extra layer of uh, sort of varnish, or okay. and that makes the makes it better that the sweat needs to penetrate an extra layer before disappearing so, yeah. in the floor. So it's you just need more court surface. That's basically what uh, what I'm saying. But Tim is busy right now. Yeah, I actually didn't know that. I didn't know as well. And it's uh, today I uh, came to that realization. I was quite happy. Yeah. That's that. Left side, 4 1. Yeah, because yesterday also, um, what's his name, Yusuf? Yeah, Yusuf, Yusuf Sheikh. Yeah, Yusuf Sheikh, he had a very nasty fall on the. Yeah, he was playing Alex, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. 5 1. 2 love up. I think 7 4. 7 4. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't watch it, I was on the other court. Um, but yeah, unfortunate for him. Uh, hopefully he recovers pretty quick. Um, I hope so too, man. It shows you how, how Mr. brutal Mr. tough sport can be. Play. If you're into the front, you don't need yeah. to come to the back as well. No, it's, it's hard with ankle injuries as well. They're pretty tricky. Um, but fingers crossed it's not too bad and we'll be back. Back playing as soon as possible, really. Let. Yes, let. There's room to play exactly that. You're looking one. for your opponents <laughs> on the way out. 5 1. What do you think of the side. ball? Well, I have seen Let's in the same, sort of the same situations, but Khalil was maybe over excessively turning yeah. into the ball. So, yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah. I think and out. in that situation, you've got to look for the Showing ball. Too you know, much. You've got, got your opponent out of position. Go and play that ball. Yeah. Oh, there was a nice very burst sharp there. boast. Really nice Three, burst. Five. Bill took quite a big lead in the in this game. Oh, four one up. Oh, there we go. Now he gets one of his own. Six, three. Yeah, about time. Um, yeah, I'll be interested to see if he can sort of hold on to this lead and get this game. Ooh. Nice shot there. Hand out. Yeah, I think it's, Four, it's up six. to. I think Khalil is a little bit more athletic, like strong. Yeah, he's, he's and I think if he, if he can if he manages to find a way to, how to put more work in Luke's legs than the other way around. Five, six. Yeah, I mean, both boys are strong, you know, big boys. Um, Ali's definitely a little bit taller. Um, but I think you can't count out Luke's fighting spirit. Um, he's a huge warrior. Um, and that could play a deciding factor in in this match. Um, Top. Yeah, nice shot there. Very nice really counter nice drop, counter. very yeah. quick on the ball. And out. 7 5.
actually doing some work here. Yeah, he's chasing the ball right now. Now we've got Ali doing the same. Oh, ah, unlucky. Nice hold on it, though. Hand out. Yeah, yeah, I thought really so too. Really nice. It's a bit unfortunate. Six. But seven. it was a good rally, I think. Like yeah. Both players had their moment that they reset the rally. Both players won yeah. the attack. Both players won the chase. Really nice rally. I think that could have could play deciding factor in this game. Really, both both were doing a lot of work at times. Um, see the next couple of points. He's fared worse from that. Rally. Nice shot there. Going in. And out. Eight six. Very tight ball there. Out, yeah, very seven, nice. Eight. Seven eight. The quality down that backhand wall has been amazing, really. Playing really well down there. Yeah, hard work pays off for out. Ali Khalil. Big error there. Quickly, please. 9 7. I've already said it doesn't need any more comment from you. Ali Khalil just trying to get Nine, the up there. <laughs> That's good, a little bit psychological warfare in court. Yeah. Stroke to McBride. I was probably sensing a bit of a drop-off in intensity from McBride, potentially. Nine. Wants to get it going as quick as possible. And yeah. Capitalise on that. Oh. Stroke to McBride. Nine all. Nine all. He made no effort to clear. 9 all. Bit of frustration there. Yeah, I can imagine he was uh, he was up two points constantly and now it's 9 all. Yeah. But for him it's uh, sort of the last chance. Yeah, really do or die. Man. Makes it to the game ball, his first one. Best game ball of the match. Oh, wow. Nice hold there. Very nice hold. And now we're up for a 2 1 lead to Luke McBride. And uh, we've officially exceeded a 15 minutes of the, the match time or something. Really? Well, we're going to add some more time to that, namely a whole new game. At least, could have two. Actually, no, we're, we're seven minutes past, so it's, yeah. it's not, not 15. I was exaggerating a little bit. But it's, it's good to see for the neutral spectator that Ali Khalil made his way back into the match. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I was, um, I was really hoping this would be a um, good game. So far, it's sort of living up to expectations. Yeah. Both players are playing really good squash. Good um, for you, because you can do an extra game now. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> um, no, I think McBride had a slight drop-off there. Um, and Ali sensed it big time uh, and really, really pushed on. 
and managed to get that game. So see what the the tactical decisions are now from both players. They resume in they, 30 seconds. See what they do. Yeah, and I think it will be good to see. Uh, I, I think the match will become a little bit more physical right now. I mean, both yeah. players endured a little beating. Yeah, I do think based on the last game seconds. that would suit uh, Khalil more than McBride. I think um, so too. Yeah, he's he is looking yeah, a little close. bit fresher. Time. Um, but again, I mean, both these guys can go for for ages. McBride um, leads two games to one. Khalil to so, serve. Yeah, I'd be interested to see how much that physicality plays a part in this uh, because Love it definitely all. plays into Khalil's hands. Oh, nice shot there. One love. Nice outcome. <laughs> if you aim for that, it should count as two points. Not a nice one there. And I see some more attacking two love. vibes now from uh, yeah. from Ali Khalil. Yeah, he looks looks palms up here. Really raring to go. Oh, Thank you. Hmm. Hand out one two. It's good as it is being going to go all pumped up. I don't want to be too overly excited as well. So I feel yeah. like that, that boast probably isn't the right decision. Um, got to find a balance here. Retrieval from McBride. Lots of work again. Yeah, it was a tight squeeze at one, uh, that one pickup. Yeah. An unfortunate er error again from Khalil. Oh, nice post. Very strong work there, that yeah. post. Three, two. I nearly got that. Oh. Hand out. Three, I all. Up a bit late there. Yeah, it's actually Khalil now keeping McBride alive with uh, three mistakes. It does feel that way at the moment, yeah. Khalil's up the intensity big time. Uh, he's on the volley a lot more, especially on that backhand side. Um, and it's proving to be pretty effective. It's just got to cut out those errors. Oh, great lob. Great length again, wow. Yeah, no, he's gunning for this now. And out, 4-3. He must watch his walking from point to point. He even walks with purpose. Yeah, he's got a bit of a... bit of a spring in his step. Why are you asking? No let, more than enough room to play. Interesting comment, there. 
yeah, again, Mr. Khalil, he's, he's got to keep his head. Twice you've hit the, rack, um, the ball in anger. Please don't. Hand just out. Not let the uh, Poor excitement get the better of him here. Stroke two, McBride. Yeah, and two decisions there going in McBride's favour. Yeah, pretty, I'd, I'd argue, correctly. Um, there we Snatching at the ball there. And then Six, everything, four. his intentions are good. He knows what he's. But it's just yeah. that last ball, it's too too eager. Yeah, it does seem that way at the moment. Um, I think still just got to relax. Interesting shot choice. There was no movement on your opponent's half. All right. Seven four. But I must also say, as anonymous as it may seem, but the bride is really keeping cool. He always does. And um, it's, uh, it's like all the attention now is a little bit on Khalil. Play-wise, ref-wise. No, definitely. And he just um, remains doing the job as good as he can. Just staying in it, not getting involved in anything, head down, just doing doing the business. Great shot. Crucial time as well. Eight really big four. I'm interested to see now what close response will be. Yeah, it's, it's going to be get tough. In here. Yeah. That's his response. Hand out. Five, That's a good eight. response. But still 5-8. So a long way to go. On the other hand, Luke McBride is also breathing heavily, I see. Yeah, he's, he's three points ahead, but I think it is fair to say he's looking a bit more tired than Kilo at the moment. Um, He's just hoping he can hold on here. Yes, left. From maybe, the right. Maybe should have played the rally out. I yeah. think so too, but. Yeah, McBride doing all the work there. Yeah, that's also true, but I think you're also bothered a little bit by maybe hurting your opponent badly. True. <laughs> Sporting, isn't it? But if you're the other kind oh, of player, that's also good. You're on the rally anyway, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I was 
slowly, slowly gaining the terrain again. Yeah. Lotus has to try and stay cool, calm, collected, and he's got a real chance here. Ah, fortunate error there. Hand out, 9 6. Yeah, but he hasn't a lot, unfortunately. It's like good setups. Yeah. And then failing on the, the finishing touch. Yeah, that ball just kind of came a bit close to him there. He had to yeah. pull out of the shot. Um, That's some great squash from McBride there. Yeah. He did very well this game. He was not in the spotlight, but he he uh, he did terrific. Yeah. Great burst there. Uh, risky shot on match ball down. It's made it work though. Hand out, 7 10. And maybe 6 match 10 ball. is a score that you want to try something out of the book. But 7 10 now it gets close again. So, yeah, we'll be seeing probably two players not wanting to make a mistake. Long rallies. Yeah, definitely. Um, worst way to finish a match is on an unforced seven. Match ball. On Match ball. Right side, please. Yeah, look, it does not look fresh anymore. No, no, definitely not. Oh, never nine. He's and he it. kills it in one nine. shot. Three games to one. Great game. Eleven nine. Really great game. Eleven six. Really nine, great eleven, game. Eleven nine. Very, very cheeky and ballsy uh, last uh, match ball. Yeah, no, Luke McBride finding a way through there, even when he's not looking particularly fresh. Um, yeah. No, well done by both these boys. Uh, we'll be uh, taking a very, very short break. Caleb, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks hope to see you some more. I yeah, hope I'll you uh, you will enjoy the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Yeah, got a couple and, of friends to cheer on. And next on, we have the match between. It's in the boys under 11 semi final, Ben Lamont and Noah Selby. So, everybody, stay tuned and we will be right back.
time. Pro Air British Junior Championships 2023, boys under 11 semi final match. Ben Lovell of England to serve, Noah Selby of England to receive best of five games. Lovell. And welcome back, everybody. We're back at the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Centre in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through these today's exciting quarters and semi-finals. And now on court is the boys under 11 semi-final match between Ben Lamont from Dorset and Noah Selby from Essex. And with me to guide me through today, through this action, is String Doctor John. Hello, John. Well, uh, good uh, to have you back here. Yeah, good to be back. Nice, uh, nice to see you again. Too long. Yeah, we we. Were, came in this match a little late. There's a busy schedule today. We had a uh, thriller of a uh, boys under 15 semi-final just now. Yeah, uh, I was, I was watching yeah. the end of it. It looked, uh, looked pretty, pretty close. It looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. And it was, One, two. I think the, um, Luke McBride was just in time by, by taking the match. I think he wouldn't have lasted for a fifth one. De definitely. So seeing, seeing a fist pump already. So yeah, let's get back to this match indeed. We have uh, on court Down. Noah Selby, what's Announce. in the name, against Ben Lamont. And I haven't seen Ben Lamont Three, play two. until now. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I, I know a little bit about him, so I think he's coached by Miles Jenkins. I hope, hopefully I'm right there. Uh, Miles, Down. who does a lot of work with Joel Makin and some other players. Um, and he does it from, uh, from London, yeah? Yep, um, from I think St George's. Yeah, that true. Yeah, and uh, obviously Down. Noah Noah Selby is and the out. eldest uh, son Three, of four. the great Daryl Selby, master shot maker extraordinaire. Yeah, he was in a lot of um, of those uh, shot of the month clips. Yeah, I think the he won most of them. Didn't uh, Producers. Looks like Noah's already going for a few shots. Much better quality under nines than, than I was doing when I was this age. I think I was not even squishing at this age. No. I think they probably hit the ball as hard as I do now as well. Not up. So I think it's count the fist bump times here. <laughs> Four all. Four all. There should be some fa famous faces in the crowd for this one, I think. Yeah, well, I see uh, his dad, Daryl Selby, is on the first row, of course. And I think he just played an exhibition match in the other squash center. Yeah. That's Nick Matthew, so yeah. maybe he's somewhere yeah. here as well. Yeah, so Nick might might be, but I've, I've, I've spoken to Daryl already, and I think he just lost out on the exhibition 2-1. But you don't often see players being beaten in their home club, so I'm out. sure... I'm sure Daryl ran easy on him. And now it's <laughs> no, I, I, I don't, final. I, I, don't, I don't think Nick's the kind of player that would ever give an inch anyway. Nick's, Nick's a very, very, very strong guy. But Down. Already with this game, I'm really impressed and with some of, some of the length game and pulling Six, it in short five. from both of them. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's still close as well, which is nice to see. It's also nice to see lob serves as well. Stroke to Le Monde. Pick up was good. 
Stroke to Le Mans. Go on, uh, you, you, tell the, you, tell the rough, you tell the rough who's boss. Down. Hand out. This is interesting to see this, the skill set of the players at this age. Six, seven. Or, yeah. or, already you're seeing some working boasts being thrown in. And there's some, lots of good cross-court shots. Look at that. That's a brilliant shot. Down. Yeah, sometimes, especially in these younger age groups, eight, they just lack six. some power at some points. But yeah, they the intelligence is there. De definitely. I mean, they, they, they sometimes lose a bit of... And out. Seven, lose eight. a bit of accuracy because they're trying so hard to get the body weight behind the ball that they lose a bit of accuracy as well. But, but see, the technique, really impressed with the technique on both of them. Stroke, Sylvie. A little nod there. Yeah, eight all left the off. Fault. Oh, will that be ten, ten, ten push-ups in my club? Nine, yeah, eight. with my training just as well. Yeah. Well, it's five. I do latest training. <laughs> I do, yeah, I, I, I don't make myself do press-ups when I hit the ball out. <laughs> and, uh, Not anymore. You're too old for this. I'm too fat as well. Oh, what a rally this is. This is a great rally. Oh, look at that. Great reaction. Oh, good rally. That was a very nice ten, rally. Game ball. Ball was good. No, I saw the ball good. 10 8, game ball. Good, good try. Good try, Noah. <laughs> he, he gave the referee, referee the look back. Oh, look at the skill on that. Yeah, he was very quick on that ball. Yeah. 9 10, game ball. Can you move that fast? No. I, I can't either. Well, I, I, in my mind, I might be able fast enough. But... Oh, oh nice shot. Nice fist bump there again. 10 all. Yeah, got a player must bumps. win by two points. Then you see Ben pushing the ball away from Noah just to make him run a bit more to get it. I'm sure that was excellent. Already, these little sneaky tricks. Down. Oh. And out. 11 10, game ball. Down. That's what, what I really out. like about these guys is they're trying to attack the ball. 11 all. I think they probably in this game probably do with a little bit more length play because we all know with juniors sometimes because of physicality it's a bit more difficult to get the ball out the back of the court. Yeah. But as I say that, they both start playing long. <laughs> but, no but there's nothing better than watching a junior try and push that ball into the front corners. 12, 11. Yeah, I know. I like ball. this one. We, we just had a, the, the match between uh, Khalil McBride, and it was all the way to the back constantly. So then yeah. when they get fist ball and they get the Down. You say confidence to, to be in long and rallies. Out. Yeah. 12 all. Then they forget they have to attack as well. So who do we think is going to be coaching? So I know Daryl's here. I know Daryl's dad, Paul, is here as well. So that could be for that. I think I've seen Miles Jenkins as well. So who's going to be coaching Noah? Is it going to be, it's going to be his dad or his granddad coaching? And out. 13, 12. Game ball. Kids don't listen to their dads. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, there was a point in my life when I stopped listening to my dad as well. And, out. and I don't know how it, how it is with you and your son, but... No, he, I just don't talk to him in between games now. He just gets on with it. He's, he's pr pretty level-headed. Seems, seems to work better when he works it out for himself, which sometimes is good and with out. juniors. This is 14 at 13, game. game ball. So a lot of it is psychological at this age as well. The, the emotions can sometimes get... Better, but they both seem pretty good so far. That's a great shot. Down. Oh! 15 13. Going to Selby. Selby leads. So, thought, thought about the racket throw there, but held back. 
have to, have to say, I think the quality is brilliant from, from Ben and Noah. The quality is absolutely, absolutely spectacular. Yeah, so you see Miles My, Jenkins in the corner with Ben and... Or I think Noah's so, followed by no one. Well, I think, his, I think his granddad might be out there. So I think Paul, Paul was watching from the wings earlier. But D- Daryl's down there with Nick Matthew. So Nick Matthew has come over to, uh, to, to Did watch. Did some support uh, in your corner. It's good. Yeah. Well, and that's Noah's little brother Harrison there, who I was speaking to beforehand. He, he makes more sense than me already. Yeah. Hey, and just uh, are any of these players on court your clients? Your um, f- funnily enough, no, because uh, they they live quite quite a distance from me. Uh, may, may, maybe in, maybe in the future, uh, I have I have so Miles Jenkins. Although he does his own stringing, I have strung for miles. Play will resume in 30 seconds. And my son's played an exhibition with Daryl before as well, which was great, great fun about a year or so ago. Your son? Yeah. yeah. An exhibition match against? Yeah, okay. With, with Daryl, uh, which, which is really good, really good fun. Great, great experience. If Selby any, leads. If anybody can get on court with Daryl Selby. One to game to love. Have a hit, it's great. And Ma- Miles, oh. Miles is a lovely player as well. And from what, what I hear, he's doing really good things in the coaching world as well. Out. Hand out. One love. Oh, just missed there the volley. And out. It's, pre- it's pretty special stuff, One isn't all. it? Yeah, but I like to see what or that, that, that some special stuff's going on in their minds. They they Two, think of ideas. One. They cannot always like f- for the full 100% execute them. Yeah. But you see that they are thinking of it. Yeah, it's definitely definitely tipping over. Three, one. So one of the things you see with the, with the smaller players, with the, with the younger um, players especially, is that they tend to they tend to look out of the court quite quite a lot, especially at their coaches or their parents, for a bit of kind of encouragement. Or Mr. sometimes Lamont, to Mr. Lamont, make sure you keep your cap well, racket under control, okay? Four, it, it doesn't one. always help them. I think you know if, if you keep in keep in there, it tends to help. Oh, that's a shot. Look at that. And out. I, I definitely can't hit those at the moment. Two four. That's, that's some real real talent there. Down. That's that length shot we were talking about beforehand. Three four. It's like a clay court on here, isn't and it? <laughs> no, 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 he's definitely got some bendy legs on there. Five, three. Yeah, one of, uh, I think, Vicky, who was with me earlier today. Yeah. She uh, pointed out that kids do not fall, they bounce. So. No, no, no. <laughs> they're, they're made of rubber. <laughs> Six, three. Left box, yeah. Stroke to Le Mans. A little fist bump up to the stroke. Would you give him a stroke on that one? And no, out. I think that Four, was six. He was facing the back wall. Yeah, he was facing the back wall. It came off the back wall. I think the only shot he had available was a boast at best. A bit, bit, of a, bit of a generous stroke there, I think. But Five, six. Hey, hey. Better to be safe than sorry. Five, but six. Yeah, that's he, also true. It was nice of Ben to ask for the lap there rather than, rather than try and hit it because... You don't often see that at this age. So it's good, good awareness from Ben there. Just like his dad firing it in those corners. There we go. Well up. It's a great well shot. Good technique as well. Hand out. 7-5. Down. Things like that. In his head, it was very good. The idea is good, seven. but he cannot 
Yeah, it's quite a delivery yet. It's a stre strength thing, really, isn't it? That's oh. a good shot. Really good shot. Very nonchalant. It's nice to see Noah clapping that one as well. Good, good to see some appreciation. Double bounce? I think so. That was Saw the ball good. Did a little bit double to me. Eight, seven. Yeah, to me too, but smaller as he might have been, he was in front of the ball maybe. Yeah. So if he gets up. Down. There we go. Hand out. To, so in Holland, do they, do they say justice? Uh, Is it a bad call and then you. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. gerechtigheid, but it's. Oh, I, can't, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> That sounds like I've got a cold and trying it, to clear It's like out. literally uh, justice. Yeah. Or karma. Karma Stroke also works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I won't try and pronounce it. I've got people in front of me. I don't, want, don't want to spit. spit. <laughs> Nine, eight. I find it difficult enough pronouncing English words. Oh. Mr. Selby, you okay? Shoe falling off doesn't, doesn't happen very often. And they, can, they can put it on without untying their laces. Yeah, that's a good? Good, a good sign that they tied it tight enough okay. in the beginning. Yeah. That they can put, put it off Game and ball. Put it back on. But what was again really nice is the competitor Ben going over to check he was okay, and that's really nice. No matter how competitive he gets. 11 8. Ben to Le Mans. One game all. So one all. Yeah, so you see, yeah, so it looks like Paul Selby there is. Going out there to coach, coach now. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> so I thought, I thought, I thought Noah's little brother Harrison was going on to have a hit there, and we call that court, court rats in the UK. So in the European tournaments, you probably see it in Holland. Yeah, yeah, you they know. always do the, the three quarter courts. They, they bounce on there. Yeah, you got one and a half, one and a half minutes, and it's managed to get a whole so whole game of three quarters. It's, it's even in between games, yeah. Yeah, in, yeah. The, in the like the the higher yeah. ages. Groups, they now from they. Well, I don't know if they recently did it, but they forbid it. Yeah, because it's, it's like the players want to go on court, and then everyone's rushing off. It's yeah. quite uh, unsettling sometimes. Well, I've watched a few matches which my son plays over in Europe, and he, you know, in the under 19s, and you see after the games, you know, or in between the games, the kids come on. You know, the little. 10, 10, 11 year old kids. Play will resume sometimes. in 30 seconds. They come on and play, and I think, well, you know, keeping the ball warm, surely. I, I, like, I like the passion of it. I think the passion's great. You want, you want to see the kids doing that, but, you know, some of the older kids don't take to it too kindly. 15 then. seconds. You've got people interfering with the ball or spilling drinks in the corners. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, I, I do, do think that it should be kept alive. Yeah. It's one of the uh, one game all, the great traditions. It's probably not, not appreciated as much by everyone, but no, but it's, it's good to see the passion there. You hear all the the, the pro players who have done it themselves. They they talk with the they talk very uh, good about it. Yeah. Down. It's where we see if Noah's going to keep calm and play on, and if Ben's going to take the confidence from the last game and push on with it. Not up. And out. Thank you. One all. So the, the, the kit that they use now is a lot, a lot better than it was when I was growing up. The kit? Yeah, the, 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 the rackets, the shoes. I imagine you, you played out. with a wooden racket as a junior. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, so graphite rackets were just kind of coming in, so I started playing when I was seven years old, so about 86, 87. And so graphite rackets were just just about in. Oh, what a well shot. Um, Thank you. But yeah, my dad gave me his old wooden racket that he'd used once before he Too decided old. that rugby was his game. So he gave me his old wooden racket, so I had to use that for, for a year or so. Down. Hand out. I think I used the same, same trainers that I played football in and everything else. 
In, you mean like uh, no, normal football? Yeah, normal football. Stroke to Le Monde. Spe speaking of football and squash, so Marco Van Basten. Yeah. So he, he was one of, one of my footballing heroes as a, as a kid. And Down. my son was playing in the, in the Dutch junior open recently. And I think Marco Van Basten Three, four. is there. Yeah, yeah, he's there. It's, it's his club. Oh, so it's his club. He's my club mate. Oh, cool. So that, that, must, that must be pretty nice I'm playing in a club with, with Marco there. Uh, it's very weird at the beginning, but uh, oh, now everybody's used to it. See that shot? That was, that was a great shot. Four all. So is he a good squash player, Marco Van Basten? Well, he's fairly good in the sense that he puts a lot of work in it. He's there like every day almost. He uh, trains a lot, plays with better people. But he's always sort of bothered by his uh, ankle. Still, still bad. Yeah. Oh, look at this. So I've seen... Two, two great winners in the last two rallies. Look at that, three. Some really good squash here. Six, four. Left box. That side, that's right, that left. Down. Very good shot. Seven, A little bit four. of desperation there in little... Noah Selby's eyes. Yeah. So we've had, a, we've had some fist pumps. We've had a come on. Eight, four. Well, I can see one going in the neck in a minute from Noah. Watch this. We'll go, we'll go for a neck now. Oh, no. Down. Nine, four. Right box. I think Ben Lamond is having a little bit more of aggression in his play now. Seems to have a bit of confidence there as well, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's looking very, very focused. Ten, four. He's not, not looking yeah. out, outside the glass. He's keeping, keeping in there. 11-4. Game to Lamond. Lamond leads two games to one. Well, I suppose you've got to look at it this way, I think. You know, Noah's a 3-4 seed, I think Ben's a, Ben's a 1 seed, so it's, it's going as it would be expected here. But what's quite nice is you're seeing a very well-coached player and a very well-disciplined player like, like Ben, who's playing some really good, tidy squash. And then you've got Noah, who's the, the kind of candy, that stuff, but he seems to be looking for those angles, he's looking yeah. for those cross-court drop shots. And, and, and the next, it's quite nice to watch, the, the con contrasting styles. I was really impressed with Ben. His, his focus in that game was, was really good. He just got, got, got on with it. and you know. I think he stepped up a little bit. Yeah. Made a step forward. Was a little bit quicker and everything. Applying more pressure. Yeah, de definitely. I think his, his structure of his game was, yeah. was a, lot be a lot better. He didn't let Noah go for quite as much stuff. And I think he's a good listener. Coach Play resume in 30 seconds. Miles. Yeah, M Miles is a pretty calm guy as well. M Miles, Miles will give some good, some good wor words of wisdom. As as will Paul Selby as well. 15 seconds. And the, the Selby team are absolutely brilliant. So all, all of them, so um, you know Paul especially. You know they, they've got a great coaching setup. Players on call, please. Lots and lots of kids going through the system there. They do, they do an awful, awful Lamont lot. Leeds. So Two games not, so It's nice to, to see some of the junior Lamont family members coming through. Yeah, and it's always important to remember all the kids who are watching. Nick Matthews Lamont. never won the tournament once. Yeah, yeah. And yeah Nick, Nick, Nick look where he uh, turned out uh, eventually. Abs absolutely. I mean, you look at, you know... Nick. Not up. Thank you. Oh, that's good, good show there from the kid. Hand out. Ben, ben acknowledging that it was a double bounce. One low. Um, and also he acknowledged it was a double bounce before the referee said it. Yeah. Which is important. Yeah, Nick, Nick Matthew, Joel Macon. Yeah, these are players that you know, have done an awful lot in the game. Too low. Weren't exceptional juniors. So it doesn't matter if they're, if they're winning the junior titles now. They could, could be winning PSA titles in a few years' time. Stroke to Le Monde. 
And out. One, two. Out. Two all. That's quite short. Oh, look at this. Amazing squash, yeah? All corners. Oh, wow. Not am I allowed to clap as a commentator? Yes. Hand out. Three, That's two. That's incredible. Three, two. And out. Three all. Good structure again there, putting, Four, putting that ball three. back. Yeah, he seems to be slowly taking over this game now. Four, three. Down. Four. We've had a come on out of this one. Five, three. Good shot, very, very clever. It was and like a no look, no look Four cross. Five. Took the ball re really early there. Oh, brilliant. Pre press the fender, you almost got that. It's just got, Ben's got to keep his face. Did it fast? Yeah. With little road runners. Yeah. Six. Five. Always nice when you can get a cheap, a cheap serve in where they bounce, bounce out the nick in the back. Like my favourite shot, the lucky one. <laughs> you read that well there. Down. Ooh, very, very nearly. So in another year or two's time, they'll be strong enough that those shots will be going Seven, in exactly. all the time. Left so it's really good that he's, go he's going for those shots. that one. Oh, nice. In the corner. Oh, it's just a good drive. Down. Oh. Not a great rally there. Huh? I think he was a little bit startled by the fact and that Ben was right next to him. Six, yeah. seven. Oh, wow. Now there's a little dis desperation in Ben Lamont's eyes. So you think it's going for five? Well, it sure seems to be like that. Oh, wow. And now that's, that's a sort of trickle boast. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Getting, getting close. Eight all. Very clever. Just keep, keep the ball nice and safe and long. That's it. Oh, do the straight Down. drop there. But that's a good Ooh. shot. Hand out. 
So I'm surprised actually. So Noah, Noah doesn't eight. seem to be doing as many straight drops as I think he could do. He's got really good hands. He's got very good racket skills. I think sometimes he's in a position where he can play some straight drops at the front. Down. And he's playing it long sometimes where he doesn't need to. Yeah. Because that seems to be one of Ben's strengths. He's a Game really ball. good mover and he's very good at the back of the court as well. Oh, oh so big, eight. a big yes there, uh, big yes. Going to Selby, two games all. We're going to five. Yeah, and the tension's, tension's rising, temperature on court. Getting so, to the boiling point. So who, who's your money on for the fifth? Yeah, well, that's actually my job, John, thank you. But <laughs> uh, when it's, it comes down to prediction time, I give you the first chance to make your prediction, and then I pick the other one. It's about the rules. So, <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I, I wouldn't really want to call this one. I don't, I don't want to see either one of these kids lose, actually. I, not that I should anyway, but I think... Uh, I, I have a feeling Noah might sneak this one. I think if he comes in confident in the last game, I think if, if Paul tells him to do some more straight drops instead of hitting it to the back a bit more often when he's at the front... That's where Noah seems to be winning some, some good points at the, at the front of the court. But I think if, if Miles can teach, uh, or can just coach Ben and just say, keep that ball at the back, keep it off Noah's racket. Play will resume nice in 30 long. seconds. I think if it's played in the back, I think, ben, I think Ben wins it. I think if it's played in the front, I think Noah wins it. So I think, I think Noah, I'm going to go for Noah. You're going to go for Noah, then I'm going to go for Ben. What, what, what's riding on this? Are we allowed to bet on 15 children's seconds. sports? Because, um, uh, handshake. We'll bet a handshake on it. Okay, a firm handshake. Maybe a beer later on. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's fine. That, that, I think that's best. No, no. I, I, I do think over the course of this match, Shelby right now, say. Shelby looks a little bit more at ease. Level. So yeah. that would definitely uh, be in his advantage, but... I think uh, Ben has proven himself to be a slightly better player to me. More solid. I think more solid, yeah. Ben's more, um, I said it, in, in balance. That's a great All shot. Right. That's an absolutely amazing shot. Hand out. Yeah, I think, um, I think you've got the raw, t raw talent of Noah and the structure of Ben. Talent can be a very, very angry beast that you need to be able to get under control. Yeah, and you see there the, the length game from Ben straight away. Too low. Using that length to his advantage. This is where it could fall apart very, very quickly. Yeah, so, exactly. You saw it already in the eyes. It's the fifth game right now. Ooh. There we go. Quick on his feet there. Out. Yeah. So he's not, One, not, three. not giving up on this. He's going straight back. Slowly, slowly, desperation starts to build in Noah's head, I, uh, I can imagine. Yeah. Back the crowd already also. Yeah, big, big crowd for an under, under nine match. Or is it under, is under nine, isn't it? Down. Sorry? Under nine? This, no, this is under 11. Under 11, sorry. Yeah. Five, right. one. Forgetting my age groups. Left. Is that a bit, bit, of a, bit, of a, bit of a block there? Is that from Ben? Left box. Fault. Oh. And out. Two. Five. Yeah, attention goes both both ways. So big, big couple of big couple of points here. So no, no one needs to get these two points in here. Shot, that's a good shot. Oh, it's in the middle. It's got it. Five, 
Oh, really oh he's got it. Oh, look at this. Oh. oh. No Working right. so hard. And out. Six, two. Seven, yeah. two. Ben Lamont starts feeling it already. Yeah, this is where it starts running away from you a little bit. Oh, oh. that's great stuff. Soft hands. Hand out. The ball is good. Hand out. Three, seven. That's another great shot. Got it. Oh, was that a top spin there? Sort of, huh? It looked like top spin. Oh. oh. Down, down, down. Oh, look, it looked like top spin. And out. Drop there. Eight, three. Well, we can't say that Noah isn't working. Because, man, he's Eight, all over three. this court. Yeah, he's trying very hard. Clever lob. Down. That's another good shot there from Ben. Nine three. Nine three. Oh, really good. Be the rally of the match, what do you think? Down. Oh, oh, oh yeah. it's continuously these rallies. Yeah. And I must say, Ben is really doing well by match ball. texting Light Noah balls. all over his court. He's but mentally been very good. Ben. Yes, let. Yes, let. 10 3. I thought so too. Match ball. Oh, video, video review. But was, was there room to hit that one? I, thought, I think so. Yeah. He did everything to get out of the way of this one. Oh. Oh. They got a bit, bit of top spin on the forehand that side. That side. Four ten. Match ball. So going to be a big comeback here. 12, 12, 10. 12, 10 yeah, like the match we had yesterday. Twenty five, twenty three. Yep. Oh. No let. Now your initial movement was the wrong direction. This is where you have under 11s talking about blocking and nudging ball. out the way. And the, dark, the dark arts being learned under under 11 squash. Ooh. Could have sealed it there. I think so too. I think he, he was about to but didn't. Oh, what a way oh, to Oh, and there he is. 11 five. Fist bump on the screen. Max Solomon. And Ben Lamont wins, and Daniel wins the beer. So that's good. <laughs> 11, eight. Uh, so 11, four, we congratulate Ben Lamont eight, for 11, this, uh, for 11, for him five. making the finals. We congratulate, yeah, actually, also Noah uh, Selby by playing excellent and showing a real, what a real squash in the under 11s uh, looks like. Uh, John, thank you very much for now. No, my my pleasure. I Always a pleasure. You're always welcome. We really enjoyed watching that and commentating. Um, yeah, we will go out for a quick moment to have a little sip of water, but please be back in any moment for the mixed under nine match between Naishe Matamisa and Elfie Knox. So see you soon, everybody.
And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarters and semi-final matches. Next on court is the mixed under nine semi-final between Naisha Matamisa and Elfie Knox from Ireland. I'm currently on my own. The boys have started. And out. One all. But now I am joined by my guest. Uh, I do not know your name. Could you introduce yourself to the crowd? I'm Gabriel Chak. Uh, Chak. Oh, nice. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very fine. And you're a contender in the tournament as well? Yeah. In which category? Under 15. Boys under 15. Boys under 15. Any winners? Yeah, I'm in the finals now. You're in the finals? Yeah. Oh, so we will see you perform on the score tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very, very nice. Um, well, let's get back to the match on court. We have uh, Elfie Knox from Ireland and Naisha Matamisa from England. Do you know any of these boys or are they just as new to you as they are to me? They're just new to me. Yeah. And now, first time seeing them. Three yeah, four. for me as well. We are there nine, so they probably just started. So we, uh, we will have their uh, squash. Four, three. Let's speak for them. And what we can say is that Naisha Matamisa is uh, the number one seed for the um, under nines category. And Elfie Knox is the 3-4 three, three. seed. So both players uh, did what the tournament organization expected them to do in the tournament. Seven, three. But at this point, Elfie Knox takes quite an, uh, an early lead with 7-3. And out. Four-seven. And out. Eight-four. Out. That's nine-four. Did not expect that to happen. Based on the seating nine, alone. Four. It's quite nice how uh, already athletic these boys are, don't you think? Yeah, they can they can get the ball to the back corner pretty really well. Yeah, I, I know. Six nine. It's very fun to see all these uh, these youngsters perform at this high level already. Fist pumps all around. It's also nice. Seven. Game ball. Out. So, yeah, well, uh, that was a very, very uh, quick first game. What do you think of this? It's very good level for these uh, for kids this age as well. It's being mixed under nines, very inclusive to have people at this age, especially at such a big competition. This level. Well. This is, uh, yeah, this is the one you want to win, of course. Need, did you win it in any of the other age categories? Not really. I only made it to semis like two years ago. Okay. Last year. And you, you, I think you also have a brother and a sister? Yeah, I have a sister, Esther Chak. <coughs> Sorry, something went wrong in the technique there? Yeah. Again, so you have uh, your sister, Esther Chak? Yeah, she's, she'll be playing in the finals tomorrow. Yeah, and my brother Michael Chat, <coughs> who lost in the quarters against Arch Samuels, good match. Yeah, I have other siblings. They will resume in thirty seconds. Oh well, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, players are back on court. 
you have any tips Not for um, Matamita? One game to love. Love all. Probably just getting that ball to the back corners first. Ball. Just try anticipate and out. One from love. a weak shot. Not a good serve. Not a good serve. Ooh. Very quick on the ball there by Elfie. Yeah. Too low. Down. And out. One, two. Uh, stop, 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 sorry. Two all. A little confusion there with the ref. Down. And out. Three, two. Matamisa taking a small lead now. And out. Three all. Four three. And maybe not not that weird, but but there's no playing history between these two boys. Oh, nice. <laughs> so they will not only have to get adjusted to the court, Down. but also to the to their opponents. And out four all. Ooh, great reaction there. And out. A little five, bit of luck. Four. Sure. And out. Five all. Down. And out. Six. Five. And out. Six all. Seven six. Now this game is a little bit more exciting Seven, than the, that previous one. Seems Matamisa is. Oh. And out. Seven his, all. Uh, his, his power a little bit under control this game. And out, eight, seven. Nice post there. Oh. And out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Elfie Knox trying to cheer the, the, the crowd on a little bit. Restless, don't you think? Yeah. Matamisa is uh, he's strong, he's fast, but he's a little bit reckless. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At this age, they get a bit emotional on court it's when they the start losing. That's oh, also that's true. They get a bit, table. little bit emotional, but it can go in, in flows. So, yeah. hit a couple of points, then you're smiling, and then you're good. Hit a couple of down balls, yeah. and then yeah. you're crying and you're desperate in desperation. But they're still young, though, so they've got quite a lot, lot of time to learn how to, like, compose themselves on yeah. the court. Yeah, true. And uh, I said to uh, John Sharp, who was with me in the commentary box the other one match ago, Nick Matthew did not win one of the British juniors. Oh. And he became world champion three times. So mm. every reason for everybody to keep working. Who's your hero in squash? Uh, I really like Diego Elias. Diego Elias? Yeah. Yeah, he's quite good. Mm -hmm. Like a two-time world champion in at the juniors. Yeah. 
Knox leads. Do you know his nickname? Two games to love. Oh, Do you know his nickname? Yes, I the Peruvian Pumas. Yeah. Do you have a nickname? Not really. <laughs> no, not really. One love. Yeah. Out. A little dive there Whoa. by Alfie Knox. Down. Two, one. Not up. <laughs> dive again. Three, one. No, no court maintenance is, is needed after this Down. match. And out. Two, four. And that was a very, Three, very composed drop four. shot. Seems to be Six, four. sliding away a little bit from uh, from Elfie Knox there. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> what a mix of. And out. Five six. Down. Six all. Seven, six. No. Nope. Okay. Let's take the lead again. Yeah. It's, game, yeah. it's very close. Yeah, again, I think Matamisa, it's, he uh, does things nice a little bit ready? too wild every now and okay. then. Seven, six. A little bit too much of overhitting. Yeah. Wants to use too much force. He needs yeah. to get Bounce. a little bit under control. Do you think you'll be able Seven to get, take this game? Or... Shot. Whoa. And out. Eight. Now, that's going to be tough. Uh, there's every possibility he's very close. Mm -hmm. But so is his opponent. Shot. If he keeps his composure, he might be able to take the game. Eight. Yeah, exactly. He's in a good ride nine right now. Eight. Oh, nine eight. Out. Yeah, starting to get close. A little bit unlucky. Ten eight. Game ball. Oh. Holt. And out. Totally nine tight ten. Server. Game ball. Down. <laughs> oh, and a miss. Eleven nine. Well, Elfie the knocks there. Knox leads. Matamisa takes one. the game. 1 2. So, Gabriel, what do you think? <coughs> Will he be able to turn this around? It's really tough to say. Both players they play really good shots. Yeah, but it depends all on the mentality of how they play it. Because if one starts to get emotional, they just start breaking down. Yeah. They hit shots like out and him and Tim. That would lead them to lose the match. But whereas if they keep them composure, they could be able to uh, turn the t tables and like make it two all. So it's tough to say. Yeah. Any predictions? I'm not too sure. It's really tough. Uh, I say it could go to two all. That's my prediction. You, you prediction. prediction two all? Yeah, two all. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I think. I think that Elfie will, uh, Elfie Knox will win the Play match. Will resume in and I think seconds. he will do it next game. Yeah. But I, I, I base that on the fact that I see um, Matamisa being 
too eager and too enthusiastic in, in which he could easily lose one. himself. It's not that, that much like his, uh, and now his emotion or anything, but just the fact that he wants to hit so hard, one he wants it so badly. But he has the support of his friends, mm -hmm. all on the first row. And at least Two, the beginning of his game is very good. Down. And out. Two all. Fell short there a little bit. Three two. Down. It was a very cheeky shot through the middle there. And out. Three all. She didn't do that sometimes on the on the PSA tour. There. And out. Four all. Four all. And out. Five four. Down. And out. Five all. Very smart drop shot there. It's almost as if he's got like a tennis swing when he's playing. Now, six, a little bit, huh? Five. Yeah. Like, he uses his whole body to get, get the power into the ball. And he's got like a very wide swing. Yeah. As well. Seven, five. Very nice pick up there six, by Matamisa. Seven. And out eight six. Small lead, not comfortable yet. Nine six. Nine six. He is hanging by a thread right now. Yeah. Holding on for dear life. Oh. <laughs> and it works. And out. Seven nine. Wow, so close now. That is very close. Down. Nine all. Who do you think will take this point now? Nine all. Yeah, that's stop, good. stop, stop, stop. Just a reminder. Words of encouragement only, no coaching. Nine all. Hmm. Oh. Cut the points. Uh, it might have down. been that little Nine interruption by the referee that... Yeah. Just gave Elfie enough time to think of that next shot. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> <Ten more. laughs> going and into a tie break. Ten all. A player must win by two points. Wow. Good cross court. 
Mr. Knox, Mr. Knox, you need to keep hold of the racket. Conduct warning for racket abuse. If it happens again, I'll move for further punishment. 11-10, game ball. Ooh, equalized it. From 12, two 10. left down. So, okay, so you beat me this one. Two game ball. <laughs> but now we're up for the real game. Yeah. So now it's double or nothing. Who's going to win this match? I'm going with the same person. <laughs> you're staying yeah. You're staying with your number one pick. That's okay. Yeah. He got you some success in the past, yeah. like the previous game. They're all here. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah and I, I will stay with um, Elfie Knox. Yeah. But at the end, but both players start to get a bit emotional. A little bit. Yeah. And there was one match ball. Mm -hmm. But this this one could be too close to, to call. Mm -hmm. Hey, who are you uh, training with? Who's your uh, coach? Uh, my coach is Sam Hodgkins. Okay. So he's coaching me for like seven. And, and he will be here tomorrow to coach you through the final? It should be. Yeah. It should Two be. games That's all. Nice. Yeah. Matamisa to serve. Love all. Down. Oh. Had every chance there. One love. Too close. Four, one. Slightly getting annoyed now. Down. So Five, it has the uh, looks of it that you're going to be right. <laughs> and out. Or is there a little comeback Two, action yeah. possible from Alfie Knox? Yeah. Just goes in. Ooh. And out. Six two. Oh, stop. 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 Sorry. Could one could one of you just push the box up to the wall? Thank you. Six two. Oh, twice in a row. He has a little weapon there. Important point now. Down. And Elfie takes it. 4-6. Four, four, six. Six. Two points behind, but still in it to win it. Yep. And out. 7-4. Down. Eight, four. Down. I saw the ball good. Nine, I saw the ball good. I saw the ball good. No, it was good. Nine, four. Five nine. And out. Is it still possible? Five yep. nine. Well, we are certainly at the edge of our seats. Yep. 
Oh, six nine. Six now. nine. Six nine. Now, if Elfie manages to, to make this point, well, every next point. Four, no, four. no, 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 no. Ten six. That point was and such four. a crucial point as well. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And out. Seven ten. Match four. Eight ten. Match four. Still two more match balls. No. Left box. Nine ten. <laughs> One much more. What are we Nine, seeing ten. here? Are we Match going four. to a second tie break? Nope. That's okay. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Nine ten. Match ball. Down. And Nine, eleven nine. nine. As a game Matamisa. and match for Matamisa. Two, Two love down as well. Seven, eleven. Oh, it's good comeback. Oh, Eight, it was a, an epic match. 11, and uh, congratulations 12, to Matamisa. And Gabriel, nine. I thank you very much for joining me today. Thank uh, you. I wish you very good luck tomorrow morning. Uh, not morning, tomorrow in your uh, yeah. final against, I think, Luke McBride. Yeah. And um, yeah, I will be watching it from here. So uh, do your, give it your best. Yeah. And for everybody at home, we will be taking a very small break to take a sip of water. And we will be right back with the match between, let's see, Emily Culture Porter, number one seed in the girls under 17, against Louisa Caven from Scotland, a 3 4 seed. So we will be right back. See you later.
Eve. Best of five games. Love all. And out. One love. Out. One all. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Centre in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarters and semi-finals. Out. Next on to board one. is the girls' under-17 semi-final between Emily Goldser Porter and Louisa Cave. And with me, uh, just as this morning, Three, Vicky, you're back, competition, back. Ma competition manager in England. <laughs> How have you been? Busy day? Yes, we've uh, spent some more uh, in talking with Stroke some parents, um, get some them. ideas from them, always good for feedback. 4-1. Very good, good to hear. Um, well, yeah, this is the girls under 17 uh, semi-final. Um, Emily Cole's reporter, I think Five, I've seen one. played numerous of times. Yes, yes, yeah, she's a... Uh, but Louisa K, I haven't. So, uh, yeah, Six, she's uh, sort of new to me. Uh, can you tell me anything about her especially? No, it's a new player to me. I have not seen the Scottish player before. No, right. there's also no playing history between uh, both these players. But uh, this rally would indicate that the were for a close matchup. I think so. And now two six. The Louisa Cave is a little behind now. Two six. Down. And of course, what I find uh, now, seven, fascinating two. is the fact that uh, Emily Colts reporter has two forehands. <laughs> yes, it is a classic uh, technique. How she finds time to play those two strokes, those two. Forehands, I'm not sure, but and now, yeah, that's the only only three, thing that I, I wonder how it is like the, 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 the change up in the in the record. Does it take time or doesn't it? You'd think so, wouldn't you? You'd think so, but she seems to manage it very well. And now, eight three. It's a good start in this first game by Emily Colts reporter. 8 3 up. Ooh. How did that stay in? And out. And Louisa Kevin. This technique reminds a little bit of uh, the technique of uh, Mazen Hesham. And a very short swing in the last minute, uh, mm -hmm. last moment. There's Volley there. Five, eight. There's a, like a hard Six, stripe into eight. that left hand back in the corner. Down. And out. Nine six. Oh wow! Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Fist bump. Ten six. Game ball. And out. Seven ten. Game ball. Oh, great drive there. 11-7. 11-7. the coach of Porter. Coach of Porter yeah, very, leads. Uh, One game of love. Very aggressive game by coach of Porter. She was really on it. I was trying to concentrate there, see how she exchanges the racket from one hand to the other. Literally, it's mesmerizing, isn't it? It is. It's just mesmerizing. She literally just throws it from one hand to the other. Yeah, and it's, it's like you need to adjust her grip also if you have a little misthrowing, but she uh, 
Ah, well, that experience uh, will come with years, of course. Yes. Uh. That would be cool if she makes it to the uh, top of the PSA, like Peter Marshall in the in the in the good old days. In the good old days, with yes. With a double-handed on both <laughs> sides. It, it obviously works. If you refine the technique, why not? Ah, well. And not only good technique on the forehands, but also fast fit. And she seems in, in play where uh, zoom in balance every seconds. time she, uh, she hits the ball. Where I think Louisa Kevin sometimes she's a little bit unbalanced if there's overrunning a little. Overrunning and uh, also the overhitting. 15 seconds. We will see if uh, Luisa is uh, able to turn it around. The ball. One love behind. One love. Love. Good kill shot there, okay, then. One, two. Stroke to coach Forda. <coughs> yeah, good. And out. Good decision. Three, one. Oh, and it's frozen and drive there. Two, three. Second bounce in the nick on the back wall. And out, three, four. So close in this, in the opening of the second game. Down. Four, all. And out, five, four. Still a little bit mesmerized by those four. Huh? <laughs> I'm not saying that too much now. <laughs> <laughs> Good depth that shot. Six, four. <laughs> yeah, if you give Kevin the space, an open Five, line, six. then she... She'll just hammer that thing to the back. Oh, lucky Nick there. Six all. And out. Seven, six. And out. Seven all. It's good to see Louise is settled in a bit more now. Yeah, I must say, I haven't seen her play on this court. So it might be a little bit of a new experience for her. Mm -hmm, maybe. And out. And you play the number Eight, one seed. Seven. Not an easy task.
Yes, let. Eight, seven. Nine, seven. Down. Ten, seven. Game ball. Nice skill there to end this game. Eleven, seven. The end of Coach Porter. Get to a two Coach love lead. lead. I thought we should settle in a bit more then and get used to Emily's and Just pain. as you said it. It, it collapsed. It collapsed. <laughs> there, were, there were like four easy points in the end. From about 7 all to 11-7. That's right. Maybe rushing it a bit. I think so, because the still she has a lot of power. So there's a lot of, to my taste, there was a little bit of overhitting. Yeah. A little bit too much enthusiasm, maybe. Our sweeper's not sure what it should be doing. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's one of the hardest jobs is to get someone to come and do this, the cleaning of the courts and make sure... Well, the guy from my club, Peter, he um, used to be a... Uh, Play will resume go, in Traveling around seconds. the world and go sweep courts everywhere so that he could get free entrance to all the, the cool matches. That's right. This is just, you know, volunteer, put your hand up. <laughs> exactly. It's, uh, I mean, you don't get paid, but at least you don't have to pay as well. Seconds. That's right. And you're going to see some great matches. And it's, it's funny. That, like, every time we have uh, a Premier League match at our club and a good player comes, they all know Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter, how are you, man? Long time no see. Everyone Coach plays Porter an leads role. two games to love. Love all. So, third game. One love. And out, one all. Good shot. Yeah, she made and out, good space for herself there. Two, one. Pushing Louisa Kevin a little bit out of court and then using the corner that remains open. Down. Three, one. And out. Two, three. thinking there. Oh, great drive there. And out. Four all. Yes, let. Four 
Heel and out. Good bending Five, of the, the scoreline. 4-1 four. Four, down. Changed last time. <laughs> <laughs> Six, four. And out. Five, six. And out. Seven, yeah, five. I think Louisa Kevin's game is getting a little bit more structured. Yes. It can be a bit, you know, if you're used to playing with a player that's got this, you know, this technique, you know, you often play to the backhand to play to their weak spot if, that, you know, if you've got that option. Yeah. You have to Eight, work something else five. out. And out. Six, eight. Oh, a roller there. Yeah, great walking there also. Great core Seven, coverage by a uh, cold supporter. This rally, finishing this rally was not an easy task for her. Eight all. She pulled it back. Right now. box. And Kevin let her ha head hang a little bit. A little bit of desperation visible for the crowd. And out. Nine eight. Down. Ooh. And out. Nine all. That was a very expensive mistake. It was, yeah. Ten, so nine, first match ball. ball. Down. And she hits it down, Eleven, giving uh, Emily Porter, Paul Porter, a three love so win, off. and a. 11, spot in seven, the final, so 11, congratulations seven, from 11, here, nine. from us at the uh, commentary box. And uh, Vicky, I thank you uh, a lot as well for joining me in this match. Yep, stepping in. Hopefully and um, right. yeah, everybody at home, we will be right back. And the next match will be between, I think it's the boys under 19, boys under 17. Yeah, uh, the, the semi-final between Dylan Roberts, number one seed, and... Ishmael Khalil, the number three, four seed. So we're up for a very exciting match. Uh, we hope to see you uh, in just a minute.
Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023. Brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Center in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting quarters and semi finals. And next on court is the boys under 17 semi final between Dylan Roberts and Ismail Khalil. Um, and to guide me, to help me guide me through this, all this action, Adam Fuller, part of Team England. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. Um, you probably work a lot with these two boys that are on court right now. Um, yeah. I, well, I have done. These both of these boys have moved into our England development program, which is um, the slightly older ones. So sort of the. Mo- most, mostly the under 19s and under 17s. Uh, I look after the England potential. Play will start in 30 seconds. Which is your under 15s and under 13s. Um, so both of these boys were part of my program last season, the season before that. So um, I see them less, but um, I'm very familiar with both. Yeah, for me, they are quite familiar names. I've done some of the British Junior tournaments. Uh, Pro A Bridge the Championship 2023. And uh, I think I've also seen them play on the, the European tournaments like the Dutch Junior Open. Dylan Roberts of yeah, England to yeah, serve. Yeah, I'm sure they've played a few European events. Smil Kali of um, England to receive. Best the of Dutch five is always games. a popular one, isn't it? With a, lot of our, with a lot of our ones. Yeah, I think so too. It's like close by for you guys. Yeah. Uh, a long, long time ago. I seem to remember playing it myself. Oh, that's cool. You played as well. Yeah, long time. Yeah, so did I. Better? So, so did I. Yeah, I was, there I, you I go. Think, uh, <laughs> like 25 years ago. Yeah. Um, I couldn't tell you how long, how long, but... Yeah. What I've noticed is that these players don't have a big playing history together. Because I could only find three other matches in which they uh, battled each other, and last time it was uh, Dylan Roberts in three. Right, yeah. I mean, they'll be very familiar. They've played each other a lot of time in practice, and um, perhaps some of the, Oh, that was a flat roll, Nick. Uh, they would have played a few, a few mat times, probably. One love. Not such big events. Um, there is a bit of an age difference, so. A few of the times, maybe Smiley's been in the age group below whilst, whilst Dylan's been playing in the age group above. But uh, I expect this to be a well contested match, to be honest. Well, these first rallies uh, sure indicate that will be the, the case. That was a nice save. That was good. Can we play that ball, please? Can we play that ball? Uh, Tend to agree with Dylan. Yeah, that ball, please. Didn't look a very clean pickup, but um, if they're not sure, that is, uh, let ball it have to be. One love. Stroke to Roberts. And out, one all. Smiley's just trying to um, bring some intensity in the early rallies here. It's uh, get some uh, presence through the middle, which is where he's at his strongest. He looks, he looks to be a bit more physical as well. Yeah, Ismail Khalil. Yeah, I mean both of these players move well and have caught coverage. But yeah, Smiley's uh, physicality is, is definitely a strength. Of his. Out two one. That's great contest here in the beginning of the match. Yeah, 
quite a lot of length based at the minute. Okay, not too much going into the front, but you'd expect that in the early, Three, early kind of one. exchanges. Yeah, true. Getting hold of the game first. Also, if you're not used to playing on this court, it's quite a tricky court to get used to. It does lend itself to hitting down on the ball and hitting quite heavy shots. But and Dylan, of out. course, had the advantage already to play on this court. And I out. Yeah, of course, yesterday. Uh, Jude yesterday, Two, didn't he? Yeah. three. Clever. Nice shot. Three all. Oh, he's got that wrong. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it happens. Yeah. Down. Oh, that's too bad. Four, three. Yeah, it's one has got to be careful here is with his error count because um, Dylan's quite quite good at just squeezing those errors out of you. It's been a little while since I watched Dylan and Five, he's, he's three. definitely looking nice and clean on that back hand side. So it's lovely lines to start with. Uh, I must say he, play, he plays better now than he did yesterday. Right. Had a tough match against. I don't know his name anymore. Jude. Jude Gibbons. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean the amount of times that I've seen Down. Jude and Dylan play is uh, it's Six, quite a high number. Three. So that that's the. Sometimes when you've played someone so many times, it's not always easy to play. Yeah, exactly. A, a clean game when every, both of you know each other's game so well. That's a great right shot. Just Smiley's perhaps not quite finding that back, that back wall quite enough. He's um, suffering across two thirds of the court mostly. And out. Four, six. And just in that scenario there, you just, there's no need. To take your time. Take, take your space. Take your time. Okay. You kind of felt that Smiley was up on his shoulder and it was a bit heavy in, in the shot. It's a good option there. Sunk into his knees on that and out. one. Come from high to low. Seven four. And out seven four. And the difference so far really has been Smiley's error count so far. I think so. It's like four or five. Yeah. Oh, so oh. long shot. Well played. And out. Five, seven. Neither one seems Six, to be able to control seven. the pace at the minute. Both of them seem to be... Uh, uh, well, one doesn't 
doesn't seem to have quite control over the rallies. It's oh. a bit hard and fast, you know, for both of them. Which isn't really suiting either of them. That's a nice switch. Out. Seven all. Always when there's a referee call, players tend to look out to their coach or yeah. to see yeah. if the ref was right. Uh, I think the ref was right on that occasion. I think so too. And now I think whoever is eight, outside of the court will always acknowledge what the ref yeah, said, yeah. just to keep a player yeah. sort of at ease. So. It's been a lot of bows played so far. Oh, a little funny bounce Nine, there in that backhand corner. I say backhand corner, but it's for the lefties. It's a forehand corner, of course. Yeah. But it seems to be happening a lot in that corner. What, just in the back left corner? Yeah. A lot of funny bounces. Ten, seven. Not a huge fan of Game playing ball. the bows from behind too often. I mean, I'd much rather be playing it when I'm in front of someone. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. That's great. Uh, it's another bow to get. Eleven, seven. Just for a little game to Roberts. Roberts leads. Okay. One game love. So eleven, seven. Yeah, I think the difference what you mentioned earlier is that Roberts kind of did not make too many mistakes. No, he was he was definitely more solid. His error count was definitely less, um, and I think he just had a, a just a little bit more structure to what he was doing than than uh, Smiley Khalil. I think he just needs to be aware of where he's positioned in the court and and use that understanding of where he's positioned in the court to make a decision on whether or not he's in a, a good area to attack or defend or or just continue to build it gave Dylan the opportunity just to pick him off a little bit yeah, and I think Dylan is strengthened in the idea that what he is doing is the right thing now so he will just go on and just keep his error count low yeah I mean the onus is in uh, Smiley to, to um, I think Play where to do, him in 30 I mean, seconds. it sounds obvious because he's lost the game but I do think that Smiley needs to reevaluate what he's doing a bit more than what Dylan is. Fifteen seconds. Glasses on, please. Thank you. See what response we've got from Smiley now. Robert leads. One game of love. Love all. Yeah, I'm quite curious. I mean, he's, he's got some great weapons. But he just needs to make sure he's utilising them from good areas of the court. That's that's fab. That was good. And Short out. Straight from the middle of the court. One okay. love. With there. Two so great start to this game from Smiley. Oh, is that a good bounce there? Love. And that's a nice and comfortable lead now for Khalil. Oh, 
down. It's a shame. It's the first two boats he's played and now, <laughs> in this one, game, and then three. it's ended up in him losing his first point. <laughs> I also noticed that, especially in the juniors, that boasts are always like the attacking boasts, even from the back. They're always played with a lot of strength and heart, and I, I was always taught to slow it down a little bit, even with the attacking boasts. Yeah. Keep I mean, them away from the middle. Yeah. Second bounce in the And middle. out. Yeah, I mean... I'm, Four, one. Yeah, sec I mean, you could even go... It almost needs... Almost three bounces before that side wall, doesn't it? Just so it continues to go away. Two, you know. Second bounce into the net. Sometimes, if you get that wrong, then it's come off the back wall. A side wall, sorry. Oh, nice shot. great touch there. And now. Two, four. Yeah, he's played two short straight forehands in a row and they've been really nice how he's got his hand under the ball. That, that's some, an area that I think Dylan's really improved on. I, mean, I know he's been working hard with his, ben, uh, his coach, Ben Ford. Definitely seems to have a few more options for him on the, on and the out. side than he's had previous. Five, yeah. three. I saw it bounce on the back of the court. Khalil's definitely just, um, he's tidied up his straight lines. It just, it looks a little bit... Thank you. Uh, box. Less open, and it suited him. 7-3. Yeah. Yeah. Great follow-up. 8-3. a bit more variation in the paces in this game isn't there like there's a few more lifts going in there's a few more where they're just ripping a, a cross court in and behind Four, yeah eight. I, know, I know I like this but now it's the time also that like the test stages of the first game are over yeah you know the courts you know how it feels now yeah oh I didn't move his feet enough to get and around. out nine four Straight short and option. Out. Please play a straight short option. Five nine. <laughs> Just be careful here, Smiley. Just a six nine. Yeah, a little bit over enthusiastic, maybe about yeah. almost being there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 
court straight into his racket. Seven, nine. I mean, it really should have been a counter drop or a lift there. I think so too, yeah. Uh, he could have got a little bit edgy for him. Ten seven. And that was what three, four Game points on, a, on the spin for Dylan. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think it's four. Important just to break someone's momentum sometimes. That was a little bit eleven reckless. seven. Yeah. So eleven one seven, game and we're down to square one. One all to these players, even Stephen. Yeah, good response from Smiley there. Um, it all stemmed from his start, really. He, he sort of injected pace at the right time, and he, he, he seemed to impose his the way he wanted to play a little bit more in that second game, and left Dylan with a few more, too many questions, really. I think so too, and it was the, um, the fact he had more stability in his game. He, he actually bore down his game a little bit mm. to say it's a little bit roughly, but. Um, it, it was like straight lines, maybe uh, some hard crosses to the corner, but no silly things. He was not busy yeah, trying I mean, to win, but he was uh, not losing at all. That's right. I mean, Smiley seems to get a little bit excited towards the end, and he did actually well just to you know, go back to what was working so well earlier on in the game. But, I mean, if you compare his his, um, his error count in the first game to the second game, it was Play will resume in 30 seconds. And, you know, yeah, he, it was um, two against uh, five or six. Yeah, uh, it's far less boast in that second game from Smiley. You know, there was there was less less sort of cross courts that were falling onto Dylan's racket. He was hit, he was working in straight lines 15 better. Fifteen seconds. And he was able to take Smiley, uh, Dylan a little bit short and long and ask him a few questions. And as soon as Dylan moved over, then he hit the space, and it was much better. Uh, I have no doubt that Dylan will uh, have a chat with his coach I've uh, seen over in the corner, Ben Ford. Glasses um, on, please. And uh, I know Smiley was getting some good conversations over all. with Jonah I like to serve. Brian in the corner. So Love let's all. see um, how they've changed things. Second time he's done in that in this That's match. Smart, That's, yeah, it's clever. Finish. It's a lovely finish. And out. One love. Down. It appeared that Dylan wasn't very happy with his racket in the end and of the last game. It seems like he's changed rackets. Yeah, but I also think he, he stood still a little bit too much. Yeah. He's not ready enough. Out. Two, one. Oh, that's good hands. Smiley's done well to recover. Uh, he needs to probably just throw one ball up just to give him a bit of time to reset.
Yes, let. Yeah, you can't say he didn't make effort there. <laughs> no. Evans Mr. Robert needs again, to exchange his racket. I think I just heard him say it snapped again, so yeah. So. So, third racket of the, of the match. <laughs> Left box. Left box. Two, one. Left box. Always tough that, isn't it, when you're having to change rackets. I mean, you might have six, half a dozen rackets in the bag, but probably all the same, but you still have a favourite, right? Yeah, well, I have two. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've I, I gone to my buddies right now and lend the one. Different brand. Yeah. Uh, you could have them identical, but if you ask any player that has however many identical rackets, they'll still probably have a favourite one. Yeah, but I can also see that the, the grip is on, on the rackets is never the same. No. If one trade yeah. rack out with a little bit yeah. and uh, a used grip. Ball. So when you have to change those rackets regularly, it's uh, in, in games. Stroke to Roberts. Yeah, he was actually almost on that too quickly, wasn't he, Smiley? Three, two. He, was, he was so quick onto the ball, he ended up being a bit close. Just hard to find a clean line Down. from there. Got and away with a little bit of... Three, he moved all. into that front left before the boss was played there. Yeah. Hey. Why not? Too much is being played around the service box at the minute, which is suiting Dylan. Oh! Yeah, and now, be careful not to play that down the middle shot too often. It's, um, no, it's mine. going to get a little bit used to it. Great weight shot there. That's a lovely use of strings. Five, four. Out. A little bit rash. And out. Probably had time just to bring up Five, up in his shoulder there and just send him back. He Especially after the last one, when he, you know, he had the threat, didn't he? He had a lot of threat there, and it was... I just hope it's not getting back to that first game scenario for him, where he just... makes easy mistakes. on the crossbow there, that's clever. Oh, he's been lucky there. <laughs> and out. Six, so it's a bomb. five. You do everything right in the rally, you reset it, mm. pick everything up, and then you... Are we paid with a back wall next shot? Right, so that's a gut wrench showing it's done to you, but when you do it to someone else, you can't help but yeah, smile, it's... can you? 
then it's mainly justified. Yeah. Stroke to Khalid. Seven five. Eight five. That's actually just like the, the second game. Great game here by uh, Khalil. Yeah, it, I mean it looks more structured than the. You know, the only thing I would say is that, that I mean he's running that straight short from the back you know, almost too Stroke often. to Roberts. Yeah, I mean it's when he's getting it right. And out. But six eight. I think if Dylan was a bit. If I was Dylan, I'd maybe just just test him out and actually then just pop it back in short and just see if he's, if he's got him. Just make him cover both the front and the back. And out. Nine, six. At the moment, Smiley's just finding his corners over there. It's a great shot from there, from Dylan, but Smiley was equal to it. And out. Seven, nine. Tempted to play the boast again. Yeah, wait, I mean that trickle play before that went almost on the short line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, mean, I think the ball is getting dirty pretty quick, isn't it? Okay, and when it is, it tends to skid through, so. Just be mindful of the, of the conditions. Did it decide all night. Yeah. Very fair. I like it. It's been a very fair tournament on, until this point. Eight, nine. Yeah, it's been played in the right spirit, hasn't it? Yeah. And there's definitely something at stake. Oh. It's a nice little squeeze that. Right box. And that's quite a good recovery. Six nine down. Nine, nine all. all. Yeah. No, Jiden's done well. The good response here. Rally. Oh. And again through the middle. Ah, oh, look, he hasn't. Yeah, it's still Ten working, nine. isn't it? Game ball. Uh, it's a clever shot. I mean, he knows how how high that Smiley likes to press and pump its volley. Just in the back end of this game, Dylan just seems to have given him. Less, less smiley, less to work with. Just starved him in a few more options. Yeah, that's good. Made him come all the way round on the back. 11 9. Yeah, game great comeback this game by Dylan Bobbers. Yeah, yeah, I must say. Yeah, it was very one. good. And it was exactly what you said. It's He started testing. Khalil a little bit to the front of the court have a, from the 6-9 have a couple of drop shots making it tough because Khalil obviously is a big big guy yeah. so it's tough to get those drop shots out constantly yeah I felt in the first part of that game just um, Swider was able to take the ball in without really any repercussions from it you know it just came back again yeah so um, yeah he yeah, yeah, definitely imposed a few more questions upon Smiley and 
yeah, just probably didn't quite get as smiley as maybe just didn't but get the ball through enough. He could have done with just actually playing a couple of rallies where just just um, asked Dylan to do a little bit more himself. But nicely Play poised at 2 all, two on. seconds. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to predict, of course. But go I on think, then. Uh, go on, give us a prediction. Go on. Yeah, I, I, I'm going for Dylan. I think. I think he's uh, in the right spirit right now. Fifteen seconds. He seems pretty unbothered when, uh, when Khalil does something good. Yeah, I mean, and he yeah. seems to have a little bit more weapons. Yeah, I think um, to me. Uh, over the course of the three games, it's Smiley that's been a more up and down. You know, he's, he's, whereas Dylan's been a, a little bit more steady throughout. Yeah. Um, Roberts leads. Two games to one. So, Roberts to serve. I think a lot pinges on the beginning Lovell. of his fourth, to be honest with you. But, yeah, the momentum is definitely with Dylan. If Dylan can get a good start in this and take that momentum into the beginning of this fourth, then. Smiley will definitely have a lot of work to do to, uh, to change things. Oh, it's a lovely start. And yeah. out. And a much needed point also. Yeah, One I mean, love. we're right up on the back row and I could hear the cut come off um, Smiley's strings right here. You have a set of earphones on your uh, <laughs> ear as well. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Down. And out. One more. I also feeling that every time Khalil goes for it, then there's a big chance that Dylan will get it back. So that's very frustrating as a player. Constantly oh, yeah. your weapons are yeah. disabled like that. Push drop there. Loading some like pressure this. up here. Oh, that's a great touch. Lovely touch. Yeah, th these, this one and the first rally and as well, that, that are points you have to win. He put in Four so many kills please. and so many attacking efforts. And it's, it, it's mind killing to to not be able to win those points. Yeah, but this was much needed. Yeah, the uh, the racket adaption that Smiley had there just to just leave that ball short was was good. Oh, a soft touch. Yeah, Very yeah, soft. yeah, yeah. It's like a touche. But that's what it's taking to beat Dylan at the minute. And Bradley's, you know, he's having to. Thank you. He's having to find, you know, that's. As soon as your margins having to be that shorter and smaller and smaller, it's and now it's always tough. Two, one. Down. And out to all. Oh, oh, that's costly. And out three, two. A little present there. Mm. Just, just hurried that. And yeah. out. Three all. Oh, great boost. Four three.
Down. That wasn't necessary. And out. No. Four all. Oh, beauty. And Maybe it was necessary before. It got him five, to, four. to play that one well. <laughs> <laughs> well I think it almost seems like he is again firing his shots at the front of the court a little bit more again. Yeah. Out. Must have heard you speak. And out. Five all. Pardon? He must have heard you uh, say that it Maybe. was... Maybe. Dylan's definitely occupying that T area a bit better. Oh, oh that's, that's a great, great ball again. Great. Yeah, I Racket went to the ball. Short back swing. Is the court all right? Court service? Thank you. And out, six, five. bit scrappy here isn't it just neither of them are quite hitting their targets yeah yeah the fatigue is also coming into play of course a little bit this stage of the match yeah, out. yeah. and out six all Didn't really and need out. to do that. Just, you know, think about where he was on the court. Seven, six. Yeah, two big errors Eight, there from six, six all to eight, six. Is that, is that going to cost him? Yeah, it's only, we can only wonder what goes on in those heads. Yeah, I mean, I'd make much worse decisions, so it's, <laughs> it's much easier from outside, isn't it? I know. It's fun speculating about it. Yeah. Oof, missed that. Down. Yeah. Three in a row. Moving backwards and Nine, putting a volley drop from six. up high there is always a uh, tough one. And had it had gone up, Dylan was already running into it. Four in a row. Ten six. Mark Dark four. clouds are pecking together over Julio's head. Yeah, just over the course of the match, it does seem that you know, Dylan's just had hasn't gone in them ups and downs as much, has he? Oh, it's just. Yeah. And actually, I think I think Dellen's actually moved up a little bit more in this final this final game. 
taking the ball out in front a little bit sooner. And there, he takes it. Yeah, he just protected. This one. Eleven seven. Uh, well, great match. Eleven nine. Um, we're going to take six. a little break, and next on court will be the girls under nineteen semi-final, a very exciting one between Amelie Hayworth and Robert, Robin McAlpine. Uh, Adam, thank you very much for being here. Hope to see you again uh, yeah, during the, in the remainder of the tournament, but uh, you'll be busy working probably. Everybody at home, stay tuned. We will be right back and uh, see you later. All right, thanks for having me. Off time.
time. They will start in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Championship Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Centre in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting semi-finals. And now on court is the girls under-19 semi-final between Amelie Hayworth and Robin McAlpine. And with me to guide me through this match is Javed. Do you, yeah. do you have a last name as well, Javed? Javed Pap. Yeah, yeah. Okay, welcome. You're a contender in the tournament, I reckon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In which, which category? Uh, boys under 50. And where did you end? Uh, I'm playing for 50th spot, I think, tomorrow, so not too well, not too bad. And what can you tell me about these girls? Uh, uh, yeah, very good. Very good on the court. Very good. Nice movement, good preparation. Everything about it is pretty solid. Well, I have seen them both play a lot of times, so uh, quite excited as well. Yeah, yeah. Some good squash in both of them. Yeah, I don't know if they've played uh, before. I think they've played before a couple of times in the semi, so it should be a pretty, pretty, pretty good semi-final. Yeah, I'm looking up their head-to-head -head now as we speak. And, oh, I only have two. Yeah. So, Amelie won, uh, beat Robin twice, one time, last time was 3-1, and the first time was 3-love, and that was actually two years ago, so wow. a lot can change in, uh, in that time, we will see what Robin McAlpin is made of, yeah. and how she Im improved in the last two years. Do you have any predictions? Oh, dude, you're, f you're way too fast with the predictions. <laughs> uh, uh, well, it, up front I would predict that uh, Amelie Hayworth would, uh, would win. Yeah. But that's just okay. based on, uh, I think, that I saw her in more finals or some finals than Robin. Yeah, yeah. I've seen her, seen her play the semis and finals a lot of times. seen her win a couple of times too. But due to the fact she's pretty leg. Mainly we do predictions like in the fourth or fifth round. <laughs> yeah, like, when, it, when it gets exciting. Yeah, yeah. All right, now at least I, I see know. a very fierceful uh, start from both ladies. Hard hitting. Seven love. Yeah, it's going to be a good battle. I think so too. Do we already know who is in the other? Because the other semifinal is now playing as well, I think. Between Miriam Aisha and Ellie Breach. Ooh, oh, that's, all, that, that's probably also a very, uh, very exciting yeah. uh, match. If you battle the Legos, that's going to be pretty solid. Is 
this the girls on the 19 semi final, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be going to be a very good match. start for Amelie Hayworth. Yeah, I think she'll probably she'll probably take this game pretty comfortably. Yes, Lex. She's coming for you Yeah, and she already had some court time on this center court, and I don't remember I don't recall that Robin had a match on this court as well. Nine two. Yes. Great cross there. Yeah, very nice width on that wall. A little bit nervous maybe there on that. Yeah, she's a bit shaky with the drop. Good rally, well paid rally. And yeah, very Ten nice four. finish, making great Ten use four. of the space. Eleven four against the So eleven four, you have it. Wow, that's a very uh Quite a big one. Yeah, pretty pretty comfortable win, I'd say. Not many errors. Forced out a couple errors from her opponent. Played the good width. Yeah, all together. So what would you uh, advise well, Robin say, to do then now in the in the second game? Say play a bit deeper, deeper on the straight drives, maybe. With the drops, she could maybe spice it up a bit, add a couple different shots in. Basically get her moving, get around the court. Hey, and who did, who did you uh, uh, lose to to get out of the tournament? Uh, I don't actually know their name. You don't know their name? It's something confusing. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. And where where are you from? I'm from uh, England. Okay, it's a little. We are in England. It's the <laughs> the British. But where, where specifically? Uh, uh West Midlands. Yeah. And any? Uh, what's your coach? Who's your coach? I don't have a coach. I just have a coach myself. Seconds. You coach yourself? You yeah. just come here? Yeah, I just okay, that's the spirit. A coach. And now that squash is uh, becoming Olympic? Yeah. Still, yeah. still no coach? No. <laughs> You're going to do it yourself. I, I have coached time to time, but not really a full time one. Please. Time. So, ladies on court for the second game. Amelie Hayworth having a slight advantage based on the first game. She probably will go for the bagel this game as well. Oh, that would be harsh. We'll see, we'll see. Love all. Yes, right. Double. Ooh, 
Ooh. And nice. a toucher on the way through. One -oh. Yeah, One it's a little, little touch on the way through to the back wall. Just about. One, two. What a rally. Two yeah, both ladies are pretty hard hitting. Both really just trying to get that winner, winner point in. Short there a little bit. Three all. Three all. Okay. This one's looking a bit closer than the last one. If I can go either way to either either go. Nice catch. What a rally. Oh. Oh. Great get any rally. Than that, yeah. does it? Crowd loved it. Five, you see the match four. before this? The boys are under 17 semi final. Yes, I've seen oh. every match today. <laughs> How beautiful. Yeah, that was a great match as well. Yeah, very close. Now Hayworth is unable to take a lead this game. Yeah, I think she uh, she took my advice. She's playing more around the court, playing deep Five lengths. Minutes. Could she have hurt you? Yeah, she might have just watched back the live check. Would be smart. Sounds logical. Oh, just about. And that's... Six, five. Ooh. 
Seven five. And it's the first time this game that Hayworth is able to take a little lead. Yeah, quick two love lead. Get some confidence back. Right. Got Six, corrected seven. by Robin McAlpin. So do you play squash? Yes, I do. Are you, are you like, any good? Uh, well, I, at least I think I'm good. But uh, I'm, I'm uh, I think, number 30-ish in Holland. In which country? Netherlands. Oh, very, pretty good. It's pretty okay, but if I play one of those top players, then... Yeah, bagels on bagels. Oh, oh my god. I hope she's okay. That's the exact same corner where yesterday... He's a shake fairly yeah. Yeah. He injured himself. Horrendous. And right. Yeah, he was, uh, he was number two seed, it. I think. Winning and number two seed. Yeah. He was, uh, he was Seven winning. four up and two love up. Yeah, he's winning it comfortably and just had to slip over. Oh, what a beautiful drop. Just right through the lengthness of a dick. She's gone ahead again. She could take this game. Ooh, bad if that thing is not over yet. And out, 9 all. I would have given a let. You? I don't know. She didn't really make enough effort. I'd give this to no let. Not enough effort? She didn't. She wasn't. She didn't Game take ball. the right line. She didn't make enough left foot. I'd say. I'd say Mark did the well. Good decision. Just about clip the top of the tip. And Hayward was and under real all. pressure there. This was the perfect time for, for taking the game. Yeah, it's pretty slip up a quick game there. Looks like it's not about like netting, they're not over yet. Cross-court kill there. Oh, that was a good one. Game ball. I think she might just about take this game and even out the scores. Guess what? 11-10. Game ball. Pressure must be crazy. Let me yeah, there's something at stake. Yeah, can you take a game or lose it? Could go either way. Oh, Ooh. great boast. Beautiful boast. Nice. 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 That boast is I think the boast against uh, McAlpin is a, is, a, is a good weapon. Yeah, if she plays the right boast, she can just get the point every time almost. Straight ball. To Harris. You say that's a good stroke? Yeah, I agree with you, there. I agree. Ball. 
And oh. again. That was double. That was double. So double. Marking is horrendous right now. That's not calling that double. What a rally. Just, just about to the second game. Battle of the dead team is definitely over. Yeah, and she could have evened out the score and make it even more exciting, but she let it go. She let it slip. Just about. Just about. And she was she was game ball up, and then she made an easy mistake. Yeah. So what are your predictions now? There were two games in. Oh, man, you are quick. Uh, now, I think... Um, as I said in the beginning, I think Hayworth is the the winner of this match. It's going to be the winner of this match. Yeah, I think the Langton takes the win with this one. She seems to be able to be to 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 deliver the same game with lesser energy. Yeah, performs performs well under the pressure as well. See. Yeah. <laughs> Is he blabbering about? So I see that uh, Thirty seconds. Hayworth is coached by Tim Phil. Yeah, Tim Phil, you can see he probably has a good idea of the game with that smooth head of his. But who is uh, Robin coached by? Fifteen seconds. He's probably gone down the hallway for some months, sorry. Or is she a self, self-coached, like you? <laughs> ah, she's not on that level yet. And call, please. So, Robin McAlpin, Nine. down two games against Amelie Hayworth. Do you think she could slip this third game, or just uh, well, lose it all? Well, she has shown in the second game she, she has the ability to... Deregulate Hayworth enough. She needs to keep her head cool, and I don't know if that's possible when you're two love down. Well, as a person, I, I come up from uh, two love down all the time. But it could be done, it could be done. If she keeps cool head, uses the drop on the backhand side, I think she could win this. One love. Boast, I told you in the last game, powerful weapon. Oh. Yeah, if she utilizes it right, she can easily Three get it. Uh, she can easily get it. Four love. Four love off to a good start, see? Yeah, a very good start. If there was any hope with Robin McAlpin, it's probably washed away right now. Oh, she's still playing it through. And if she wins a couple rallies in a row, it could maybe four. get her confidence back. But at the end of the day, Lengthy wins, win, so I have to just check it out. Ooh. Nice kill there. Astonishing kill from her. Five, one. Yeah, I think it's all, all her hopes diminished. Yeah, I'm afraid so. And for the neutral spectator, I hope everything will turn out into a five setter. Well, if we're speaking realistically, it's looking like a free love right here. Exactly. But yeah, it would be nice to see it go to a fifth. Just about. Six, with anger shown on the court. Pretty familiar. Desperation. The look of desperation. Yeah. It's really... Okay. Ooh, just about clipped the top of the tin. Right, two, six.
Oh, oh. beautiful drop. Right. Tight, and tight drop. 7-2. Yeah, 7-2. There's no stopping Hayworth anymore, I think. Yeah, I don't see uh, any chance of a comeback. Out. Oh, it's just getting worse and worse. 8-2. Were you expecting this outcome? Yeah. You expected a 3-love? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, but that's based on, on statistics, and not on... Yeah, based I, on... I haven't seen yeah. them too play, and I must say... I've only seen them play, like, once or twice, so I don't really have an idea. Felix will still be battling out, though, trying to hop up on a couple of points so she doesn't get destroyed. Beautiful, beautiful volley drop. Right to the nick. Right All hope is lost and she's going to take this third game. Oh, nice. She's just taking that backhand corner all the time. Just dominating, dominating, sending her around the court. Oh, great get. Oh, my. It's beautiful lines. Oh, it's not over. Oh, I thought that. Do you think that was good? I, I doubted it, but yeah. I thought right. she, she could have had that. She would have finished it anyway, it's okay. Yeah, a bit different outcome. But we are at match ball now, uh, have it. Match ball 10 2. This was a, a visceration, I'd say. Just a, absolutely dominated and destroyed her. Well played. Yes, and there it is. Free love, just three like free love, love. baby. Three games to love, because I'm the goal. Yeah, so from here in the commentary booth, we congratulate Emily Hayworth with her victory and her well place played. in this final well played, tomorrow. Mate. And uh, have it. I thank you for yeah. uh, for joining cheers me. Cheers for letting me on, boss. No, oh. cheers, cheers for joining me. Uh, yeah. For everybody at home, we will be preparing for the last match of the day, which is the boys under 19 final between Jonah Bryant and Abdullah Isa the Goat. Right. Uh, I don't know if it's Abdullah Isa. I think it's is it Ooh, am I Bailey thinking? Malik. Bailey it's Malik. Oh, he beat him. Oh, I didn't expect that. Wow. You didn't, you didn't figure? I didn't know that, I didn't know that. Alright, well, I better get going. Cheers. Oh, and, for, and just for you, uh, I think Abdullah Aysa is playing Alex Broadbridge on the other court. So I will be watching the, that right now. Your, your goat is still alive. Yeah, goat. Okay. Okay, still alive. Right. <laughs> okay, how about thank you very much and everybody else. See you in a short minute. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Safe, peace.
Half time. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the British Junior Championships 2023, brought to you live from the Abbeydale Park Squash and Fitness Centre in Sheffield. My name is Daniel, and together with my guests, I will be hosting you through today's exciting semi-finals. And we're actually concluding this day uh, with the boys' under-19 semi-final between number one seed, Jonah Bryant, and the 5'8 seed, Bailey Malik. And with me, once again... Good old Tim Vale is uh, going to help me, uh, not guide me through this, uh, this exercise. Welcome back, Tim. Thank you. Keep tapping it, won't play. Um, well, first question is, I see that Barry Malik is not, uh, was not seeded to make it to the today's semi-final. So who did he upset? He beat uh, Caleb Boy. Caleb Boy? Yeah. Caleb Boy was just here with me. He told me that. <laughs> but since there are so many Maliks, sometimes I get... A little confused. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that was Bailey. One, three, nine. And uh, is there any uh, outcome you, you you predict, I, or is it is it too easy to think that Jonah will I win think, the semi-final? I think Jonah will be too strong. Uh, both players are from Sussex. Yeah, both players are from Sussex. Um, so they've played a few times. Um, I don't think Bailey's beaten Joni yet. <coughs> no, and Jonah was, of course, uh, I think he was European champion. Yeah, yeah, he's current European champion. Under 19s? Yeah. And he, uh, if you ask me, he will be maybe world champion next year, under 19s. Well, he's, he's still able to register. He's too old. Too old next yeah, year? Yeah, he's too old, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's around for another Europeans, but not um, Worlds. Oh, that's, that's harsh. Well, okay, then uh, the normal World Open. We'll have to settle for that one, the Olympics. <laughs> he's old enough. Yeah, he's slowly rising up the uh, PSA rankings. He won his first PSA not so long ago in Stourbridge. And what, 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 uh, how many K was it? Uh, I think it was only 3K. Okay. Yeah, I know a couple of his Dutch... Uh, they will start in 30 seconds. Op ...opponents like Rowan Dalming right, and uh, yeah. some, some girls. They, they also win their, start winning their first PSAs now. Well, Rowan maybe won a little bit more. Yeah, he's been playing the tour for a bit longer. So. Yeah, true. 15 seconds... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see here how Bailey plays. He's normally quite an attacking player. Um, he's got good hold, good hands. Pro um, Air British Junior Championship 2023, boys under 19 semi final match. Yeah, yes, some uh, older siblings serve, that Malik can teach him the tricks. Yeah, they do quite Best a lot of training all together in Crawley. One that must be the, the nerves. Yeah, I'm sure, the semi-final. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't the start he wanted, that's for sure. Okay. Cheeky drop shot from the start Good there. Off. Yeah, he caught him out of there. Wasn't quite ready to get forward to get that. Three love. It must be hard for a guy like uh, Malik to... I mean, he's obviously very happy that he made it to the semi-finals, but play someone you... Never really taken a game from. It's hard. Yeah, it is. But, you know, it's, it's the semis of the British clothes, so you've got to give it all your all and see what happens. Down. 
Fall out. Quite find their length here, they that's a bit better down the backhand side. Now it's all quite low and deep, so that's pretty the length of purpose. Someone's actually going to get my volley in a minute. Everything's so low and hard, there's nothing to have tune to his other. No. Oh. Start to Malik. It's not the first time that somebody yeah. trips me at the corner. I Emily Hayward just had it. Four. Yeah, I think it's more actually on the, on the short line. And out, 5-1. It's quite a good start. Yeah, both of them are very quick. Um, so you expect them to get a little bit back at the front. Just start to lengthen these rallies a bit more, just try and get into it. Sometimes when Bryant has a, a good opportunity, he's a little bit loose. Yeah, he hasn't really quite got on it. Or... I think he's quite happy at yeah. the pace that's being played, it's quite comfy for him. Yeah, okay, so it's, you, you can just five. remain at this level, not spend too much energy. Yeah, I think so at the moment, yeah. Oh, oh. no one's going to get that one back. 6-2. To Brian. Just that little hold at the front right. Sort of set that up. You enjoyed that, eh? I like, yeah, I like a good hold. This means you can sell something to your opponent and then do something different. So you, know, you drag them in and then they suddenly have to go, go back. You know, it upset, breaks down their movement. A bit casual there Eight, in the middle, didn't really move his feet to that. Right side, 8 2. Yeah, 
know, Bailey's been really struggling to get in front here, so I'm doing some attacking from behind, and it's not really working for him at the moment. No. It's going to have to be a little different bit of approach. Maybe he's going to have to start lifting a bit more to try and get on the ball. Throw to Brian. As if he got to change it up. If he plays at the same pace, then uh, I don't think he's going to get any ball. reward. He's a bit more uh, gone short from behind again. 11 2, game to Bryant. Bryant leads one game to love. Relatively easy game here for Bryant. Yeah. It did not look like that was going to happen from the first couple of rallies. But then yeah. Bryant just took, took the jet and went off. He's very comfy playing at that pace. Uh, happy to move like that all day long. Um, so, yeah, I think Bailey's going to have to change it up quite a lot in the height and pace that he's hitting to. Try and get a chance to get in front of Jonah. Yeah, and that's tough because I think in the high tempo, Jonah Bryant was more able to occasionally throw in a volley. Yeah, yeah. I mean, much quicker on the ball. Yeah. Well, not much quicker, but a little quicker on the ball. Be interesting to see if Bailey does come out and just start chipping a little bit more just to try and get in front rather than attacking from behind. They will resume in 30 seconds. Yeah, there is back. 15 seconds. Bryant leads, one game to love. Love all. Is Malik able to play this same event next year as well? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's got another year. Started lifting a little bit more. I think they were uh, listening to the live stream in between games. <laughs> they overheard you saying it. I just thought it was the right thing he had to do, really, to try and get a chance to get in front. He's definitely out. Pace definitely changed. One of. Yeah, but until now I think Bryant looks pretty comfortable still on court. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jenny's still got one more British Junior Open in January. Um, last year, he lost to the final to Finn Withington, so he's got a good chance again this year. It was a great match, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it was really good, yeah. It was really good. He was up too low, right? Yeah, he played very well. Get there. Oh, good that. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Not up. Good night. One all. 
Yeah, it was a much better rally, that one. Actually see, uh, Spectacular. Oh, well, yeah, you just start taking the ball in better because he's in front of him. Interesting. Not sure that would be right. my choice. I think Too I might, might have backed <laughs> off and try to get a stroke. Nice turn there. And now it's the wall. Yeah, it should have been straight from Jonah there, really. I didn't think the cross court was really on. Out. And it's out, yeah. And out, 3 2. Four two. Good touch at the front, yeah. Five two. I like that, Jonah, because he gets down level to the ball. And you see, he gets down there. It's easy for them just to get his racket underneath that with the strings. Yeah, little little slice there. Shot on that volley. Now we are actually uh, Six, two. seeing a similar image from the first game. Left yeah. side. Yeah, Jane is in control here for sure. Um, I, love the, all, I then... love the fact there in the middle on the forehand of that last volley. He didn't try to hit it hard. Too many players like want to hit it hard, hoping to get away quick, but actually just pushed it past with the right weight, so it just died in the back. 7 2. Yeah, Jane is looking strong here. He's not uh, under pressure that much. Um, looking comfortable on the ball, his movements easy for him. Yeah. Out. It's kind of how I, how I expected two. it to go, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. This big. Yeah. I must say I haven't seen too much of the uh, the Malik boys on this court, so. Boast that one. Nine Nine for two, third rule right set up for Jonah. And any uh, predictions on the uh, the other semi final that's taking place on court number eight, I mm, think? Yeah, Alex has. Broadbridge and. Yeah, Alex has never, he's never been to Dilla before. So if he, if he takes the game, I think he'll do well. Um, but I think it'll be a Jonah Dilla final. 10 2. Alex was a ball. little bit fortunate, obviously, because Yusuf. Had to pull out of their match on the glass here when you sort of slipped and yeah, turned was, his ankle. He was down two love and yeah. uh, seven four. That was brutal. Which was a shame for Yusuf because Yusuf was actually playing well. Um, having come back from a disp disappointing Worlds in Melbourne, he um, put some good training over the summer and he was looking sharp. I know, he was playing very well yesterday. Yeah, he was looking really sharp on the ball and actually hungry to get on the ball early, which is, was a really good sign.
This looks like Jonas sort of walking around the court, quite happy, just knowing where the ball's going, holding it, putting it in when he wants to put it in. He's had to do quite a lot of work in this rally. Yeah. He's just playing. It. He was just playing. It. Yeah. Pushing him around a bit. Two games to love. Yeah, there was only one person doing all the work in that rally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so two love. 11 2, 11 2. Quite uh, clear. Yeah, I can't see there's going to be much change in this last game, to be honest. So what would you say to uh, to Malik? Enjoy? Just enjoy? Yeah, I think if you get a few opportunities when he's in front, he's just got to go for it. Um, he's got some shots, so I think if he gets a chance now, he's just literally just going to have to go for them. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You know, it's not, you don't, you don't, don't go cheap, but you know, work the right opportunities. If it's there and it's loose, be attacking and go for it. See if he can hit some winners. No, I think so. I think this is very hard to get back from, especially when the, when your opponent is much better. So we were resuming thirty seconds. Better just try and lengthen your time on court. Maybe do some practice shots between your legs, <laughs> behind the back. I don't think that's Fifteen help. seconds. <laughs> He did one in the last game and didn't do any faces. Brian leads two games to love. Love all. You can see Jono already, like, quite happy moving the ball around, making Bailey do a lot of work. He's, he's quite happy, well doesn't mind chasing. He and runs, yeah. runs the legs off, off Bailey. One love. And by the way, in the other girls' semi final, Miriam Aysa beat uh, number two seed Ellie Breach. Yeah. 3 1. Yeah, it's a great result for the English player. I think last year I saw her play the under 15, so she skipped, skipped the class. Yeah, she's still uh, 14. Yeah. Oh my god, man. And out. Bright on. future for England squash. Definitely. Trying to do the right thing, Bailey, and lifting a few. That was a good shot. And out. 2 1. Oh, just cut the top of the sin. And out. 2 1. That's a good idea, though. Yeah, he lifted and then attacked on the next ball, didn't he? He's done that a couple of times now. I think that's uh, his biggest and right. chance Three of uh, gaining points at the moment. He's lifting, and lifting the ball into the back and then if it's loose, pouncing on the next ball. No, I think you're right.
Oh, he's a little sloppy. He's gone, he's gone a bit casual, Jonah. Because he feels comfortable. He's just gone a bit Auto. sloppy and hit a few errors unnecessarily. And out. Love the racket prep Three, there at the back and the strings going through the ball. Found a good angle into the nick. Stroke to Malik. That's unfortunate. And out. 5 3. Yeah, good counter for Bailey, but tight though. It wasn't really the right shot. You know what, I, by the way, I like about Jonas' technique is that on the backhand side, his arm never seems to fully stretch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, true. He always keeps his elbow a little bit Four, bent. Five. Yeah. And out. Yes, casual indeed. Six four. Wasn't even close to getting up though, was it? No. <laughs> I think he aimed for the bucket. Bailey's actually managed to manage control of this rally a little bit better here, isn't he? Okay. Oh, I went for something cheap as well. And out. But he's actually getting, five, doing well of changing the height and pace and then suddenly hitting a cross court and just varying it. So it wasn't all the same. Yeah, but I also think he was trying to, he was trying less hard to, to make the rally. Yeah. He was just playing to stay in it. It can also be a treat sometimes. Just don't do anything. Just get the ball back. All right. Six all. Okay. Seven six. Another error for there from Bailey. Sort of a bit upright on that one. Not really transferring weight into the shot. Definitely seen that rally. Jonah getting on the ball a bit quicker there. Getting onto the he volley took a bit quicker. Volley. Yeah, yeah. He's just up the tempo a little bit here. Let's see if it goes on. Yes, let's. Eight six. Six. Surprising volley that one. Nice tight balls down the back end. Oh, that's yes. an interesting spin. <laughs> that wasn't to do with the ball. Grace <laughs> was showcasing some new moves. 
Oh. Mm. Wasn't quite balanced on that drop shot. 10-6. Match ball. So, yeah, match ball. And as you predicted, easy win. Jane uh, at the moment is a better, stronger player. He's playing full-time. Bailey's obviously still at college. It is pretty much going to be one-way traffic, and it has been. Oh, what a finish. Off. What a finish. And we have our uh, last finalist for tomorrow. John Bryant will be in the boys under 19 finals. So we congratulate him from above here. And uh, Tim, thank you very much. Thank you. I think you did a great job today. You're only uh, one hour and five minutes uh, out of schedule. Yeah, not too bad. So. Uh, that suffices for today, but uh, tomorrow we would like to have an uh, earlier... Uh, <laughs> no, no, with all due respect, Tim, you do, our, you do a good job. Uh, thank you much, very much for, uh, for joining me again. And everybody at home, we will be uh, signing off and we will be seeing you tomorrow for the finals day. And uh, I can promise you a lot of fireworks. So, see you tomorrow.